Defeating Griot, the protectors of the past, got a closer look at the pyre and saw three elvish forms bearing weapons standing within it. Wanting a closer look, Rev entered the room and found his way to the back, where a window stood. Looking out, he saw gathered a saw in Bob Looking out, he saw a gathered Regesian army with a small group of Shahalesi soldiers standing amongst them, Princess Shalosha at their head. The friends found a secluded throne room lying on the floor. Frozen in pain was a man. A man's. Man. Written on the floor in blood were many, many feverish messages. In the next room, the party found the bedchamber of Emperor Coltong, but no torch. In a room nearby was a huge, sparkling treasure board. Oh, excuse me. Uh, there it, it is. is. <clears throat> Feeding the man on the floor a potion of greater restoration. <clears throat> I'm also choking on my spit now. He woke up and introduced himself as Darius, an inquisitor and guard of Colton. He shared that three elves, similar to the ones in the pyre, attacked that attacked in the night, knocking Darius out. Before he succumbed, he saw the elves with the unmoving body of Colton use the torch to teleport away with their prize. As the protectors prepared to leave, a member of Clan Malorn broke off and stood beneath the V trophy of a dragon skeleton. I put the twice, so I thought it was Nice. His form shifted as he disappeared, and a familiar voice filled the chamber. The voice of the Trillith, <laughs> Deception. As he swore destruction upon the party, the bones of the dragon knit and animated into a form of a huge golden dragon who roared in defiance for the party. Run away! <laughs> well, the first thing that I wanted to make sure that everyone had heard before moving forwards um, because we had a couple of brief discussions happen on the side, and I wanted to make sure they got kind of captured. Um, the first thing was Mitharia and Bryn each made some checks because they heard some words that seemed familiar to them. Uh, neither one of them could place quite why or what, uh, at least not specifically, but Bryn felt that the diamonds were familiar to her. Mitharia felt that the words Bright Shadow and Black River both felt familiar to her. Uh, the last thing that I completely skipped over mentioning and totally should have because it's probably pretty important uh, is the pyre that was in the room. When Griot died, it didn't disappear, but it did dim and it kind of contracted. Uh, and so technically, Rev, I had you take some damage. You probably shouldn't have bothered to take damage there as you really didn't go through the pyre itself, but it's a little bit late now. But we'll say that over time, after this whole event has happened. The pyre has been slowly contracting inwards uh, to the point that as long as you don't directly go into it, uh, it is not hot enough to damage at nice. this point in time. Okay. Also for this episode, our recording, we are 5-6 five, live. 5-6 five, six. <laughs> five, six. <laughs> that. So that's why the audio quality sucks. Sorry, team. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lot of you standing before the dragon as it is knitting back together, kind of scales forming, the golden sheen returning to its form, uh, and the the halfling that you saw previously standing in front of uh, this dragon has vanished, flipped out of sight as it had given its little monologue. Uh, and at this point, you're left with a choice. You have a few seconds here while the dragon continues to form and kind of orient itself to the to the the area and to its form once more. <laughs> what would you like to do? Can we roll initiative to decide that? If you'd like to, sure. Uh -huh. I think that makes the most sense. Mm, that means the dragon's gonna roll initiative. That does mean the dragon's probably gonna roll initiative. Yeah, I'm guessing like, that we're all gonna round essentially before. around. That seemed to be the language that Justin was using. Can I at least start reaching for the uh, necklace that I have holding? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You can ask for it. I'll check it to you. I guess yeah. that's good. Yeah. Considering what? Check the necklace! Oh, Which one? Terrible. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh -huh. Which one? <laughs> we only have one, don't we? Feels like an old timey joke. Jack, Jack is a man of taste. He has a lot of necklaces. <laughs> I think I actually oh. do have a couple. And, and high stature. You guys, we gotta figure out some way for me to remember vigilant blessings. 
A man of my station never leaves home without three necklaces. <laughs> <in here. laughs> this is just a light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Good uh, Yeah, if you ask for it, I'll reach my hand in the bag of holding, grab it, and toss it to you. Okay. Has everyone put in their initiatives, or do I need no. to? No. Okay, Seven. I will. Uh, what do we got for winning? 18. 18, perfect. Mitharia. Cut. Bryn. Seven. Jack. Four. Nice, everybody. Nice. Uh, Rev. 17. Hey, good initiative oh, from Rev. You actually already put yours in, I see. Sorry. I did. The one person on top of right. their game tonight. <laughs> Missing you, Ryan. <laughs> All right. So the first one, then, if you guys wanted to follow initiative order, uh, Winry, you are the quickest on the draw. Um, What's the plan? Yeah, so I'm not saying we need to, like, start fighting, but, like, this can determine what, when we each do what we're planning on doing. I will say, I'm not going to put Darius in the initiative order. He yeah. is going to act at zero. Sounds good. Okay. So right after me. He's just going to kind of, yeah, he's just going to kind of go with whatever you guys tell him, probably, unless... There's a reason not to. I'm in a And later, feel free to get eaten by this dragon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you're gonna run. And you're running out towards this, uh, the window through the pyre area. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do myself. have control, you yeah, should. I have to figure out how to use a different Yeah. You have 45 feet of movement? At least. If. I've never done that before, so. <laughs> right, he's making it, his it character so big. It went to black, the and then it reloaded. All right, well, I dragged you over to the window. I have the there we go. D feet of movement. And I'm going to try to kick it out. OK. Uh, attack? You can make an attack, sure. Oh, look, you fucked it up. 27. What are you guys doing? What is everyone doing over there? <laughs> Uh, 27, I mean, that does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. I feel like this one doesn't have to break. Magic window? Yeah. Um... Nine bludgeoning damage? Okay. Do I do full damage? Uh, no, it's not a creature, so I don't think that that counts one way or the other. Um, so you come rushing over, you notice that, um, even after what Rev had described and what you saw previously, uh, if you remember right in the, the kind of flavor text of what happened, the dragon started roaring and you guys could hear and feel the cracks almost in the castle as it reverberated. Mm -hmm. uh, the window was already partially opened. Probably enough that you might have been able to slide through it if you tried hard enough. Um, but what also happened is large chunks of it kind of were half free. And so you kind of walk over and you kind of kick one of them and a big section of wall like slides outwards. It doesn't go very far, but it like slides out enough that you can see through it and it looks like it's like slowly inching away as though time is distorting. Oh. oh. Um, you also- In that room, yeah, in that room the time is funky. It was a little bit, yeah. Uh, the other thing that you note is, actually it's the entire upper floor that the time is funky. Okay. Um, the other thing that you note looking downwards, the army uh, has slowly been kind of filtering in here and there. Um, some of them have started to go inside, it appears, inside the bear skull mm -hmm. beneath you. Like, I think it's 150, 200 feet below you. Um, and Shalosha, along with um, what looks like two bodyguards that were flanking her previously, and a member of the Regessian uh, infant or um, command structure of one way, shape, or form, at least that's what it kind of appears to, uh, appear to be talking initially like cordially discussing something. And then she seems to catch her eye and like you, you guys make eye contact up through this window and she like stops talking all of a sudden. You can see that she like freezes and just like stares up at you. Uh... We've met her before too. Oh yeah. 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 We've had like oh, negotiations yeah, yeah. and everything. With I tried to roll answer. And I'm unforgettable. You tried. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I was successful. Yeah. 
Um, so I kicked the window and it slowly moved outward. Enough, yes, enough that you could certainly fit through the section that you have broken out if you wanted to. Okay, I'm she not gonna do that yet. She's yeah, probably the maybe. biggest of the bunch. Oh, actually. that's true. Yeah. She's a big girl. She's dead. That did not sound like thick. No, it did, did not. not. I have earbuds in. Yeah, our bad stuff. You have food in your mouth. <laughs> These are a lot of flavor, but I Um, I weigh 45 yep. feet. I will use feline agility to move for right click to 55 more feet. Right click. Right click to move. Where are you going to go? Oh, wait. I'm moving back Sorry. to right you. Right click to move the map. Left click to move. But oh, then you you're. Okay. Sorry. I want to tell you guys that you can come here. I guess. I feel like you can holler it. I can't. Mm. Maybe right click at that? Are you sure that I have permissions to move her? Uh, I can no. read. I moved myself before, though. No, Justin did. Oh. I moved too, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah there, let me delete her and add her back in, because I had to add the permissions to the character level, because it inherits from there. Uh, so, that's not delete, that's power. Where's delete? I almost hit power. Backspace? Yep, that works. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> the last time I did that was like before. You used a sucker in your drink? Vodka. <laughs> just vodka? Uh, I don't even remember that. Yeah, just straight night. vodka with a sucker in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a chaser. It's called a sucker shot. Sucker shot. Alright, try now. I re added you. Uh uh. You still can't? Well, Let me see. I did the best I could. That might have, might have been me. No, it's not. Okay, me. so I'll move down a square or two. Can you move the barium? No. No. Is it me? It's not me. Well, the mouse is yeah, moving. That you thought that I shouldn't be complaining about. No. Yeah, I'll reload know. the page. Like, like, I that should be fine. They're, say they're saying hi. Oh, for one second. <laughs> well. What are you doing? I'm gonna move down two spaces and I'm gonna yell out, we can fit through the window, bring the sleigh. Bring the sleigh. Bring, bring me my, my sleigh. sleigh. Yeah. <laughs> I have to deliver. <laughs> oh, 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 you do have kind of a white beard. Oh. So if the, it's face if the face pyre fur. diminished, is it still that big on the map? That's really why Jack's attracted to um, Santa Claus. Did you fetish. want a really old? Yeah. <laughs> you can move through the outside spaces of it right, as long as you're not I moving through can. the central four. Uh, the central oh, wow. four would still hurt you. Okay. The central four. Are you sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I'm curious if it would be faster if I connected to my phone hotspot. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Actually, I I didn't have to use feeling jewelry. Yep, that's fine. You don't have to use it. Okay. Uh, Rev, whenever you can, it is you. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna come in here and move around this thing here, and a bonus action dash. And is the is the glass open far enough for the pallet one to get through? Uh, so. I mean, it wouldn't fit nicely through, um, but it has its own strength, so to speak. Uh, so once summoned, it can be driven effectively, and it can smash through the wall itself also. Oh, okay. Okay, great. If you want to try and uh, widen hand in first, you can feel free. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and widen. I'm going to try and widen the gap. I'm going to use... Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit it with my sword, my rapier. Okay, go ahead and make an attack. Why is my camera? Actually, I'm, if you don't want to, I don't. I'm not actually worried about you making an attack, so to speak. Um, just time spent will push it outwards and uh, open up the space further. Okay, cool. Now, just so that I understand the time dilation thing, you're saying that as she breaks the glass the glass kind of gets frozen as if it's leaving our slowed down time. 
and becoming real fast. Is it breaking in slow motion? Like, no. Yeah, like, okay, so first of all, this is not glass. Oh, it's it's so like it's stone. Really it's just okay. like see-through stone. Um, okay. Yeah. So, it's falling, so the so stone is falling like, away, like a wall is falling away. And yeah, um, it's like a big chunk is falling out, basically, like a five by five square, basically. That she's well, it's, like it's making it's, out of the way. Yeah, it's making a lot more sense now. It's like you're, there's cinder blocks or something or someone they're just pushing yeah. it over instead of. Uh, but what was the time dilation yeah, and, effect that you were trying to describe? Uh, as they kind of are leaving your sphere of, or like the area where it's like breaking up the wall, so to speak, as it's falling outwards, they just are like slowly moving. Like think Inception, so to speak, uh, yeah. where you go one level deeper and everything above is like barely crawling. That's what it looks like as those stones are flying through the air. So can I? You are I, one level deeper currently. Right. I hate to I hate <laughs> to, to say this though. What does that make the? I mean, does the army look like they're standing still then? It's it's a strange thing where. Or are they moving really fast? Actually, I don't I don't quite. Let me see here. We are moving faster, so they would be moving slow. Are they moving slow? I think that's what we're standing. So for the most part, they are standing. Uh, they're, they're moving normally. It's very, it's, I'm going to say it here. It's a magical effect. Um, okay. And so from your perspective, everyone on the ground is still moving normally, but you don't experience time normally when you're within this space. It's Outback Steakhouse. No <laughs> rules, just right. <laughs> All right, that makes that does make sense. It's like affecting the material. It's affecting the material plane, but we all have like personal souls and auras or something that isn't. If I, if I, if, um, it both does and does yeah. not make any sense. Yes. I mean, uh, hey, I don't need it to make sense. I just wanted to, to <laughs> set. The, I just wanted to set the scene. I just wanted to set the scene. Yep. Um, okay, so yeah, then uh, I'm gonna say, let's uh, skip with the whole dragon thing. Let's get out of here. That's my turn. Okay. You hear from behind you a voice once more. Uh, this one coming from the darkness says, <laughs> Yes, run, get out of here. Flee and never return. Was that in the voice of deception? Yes. Okay. Mitharia. All right. My gosh, can we not? Just this hand a three thousand dollar computer, and you're handing a copy over it. Three thousand dollars? No, thirty-three hundred actually. MacBooks are stupid expensive. Yeah. Mitharia. So, um, I hear. I, I see what's going on. I hear Rev say Holy that. Um, I have the necklace. I'm putting it over my head. Uh, she takes but a second, and she goes. Uh. Attempting to speak in Sylvan. Okay, that's the only thing you can speak in now. Either. Once you put the necklace on. Oh, that's oh crap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know. Either. My totally isn't the only thing she can speak. <laughs> she knows she can speak Sylvan, but I don't know. She didn't know that feature. Um, she's just gonna say, Sirianna. Sayana. Sayana. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Uh, Sayana, I. You won't spot the Ternesti Elves. Their enemies are right outside these doors. I ask you not to fight us. I ask you to fight your enemies who are just outside that window. Many come in and fight you. I ask that you fight for us and against them. Instead, do this in defense of the Ternesti Elves. I ask this of you. I beg this of you. Do you do that, Joe? I, nope, I don't. <laughs> I does that. Yes, I don't know if it's gonna work. But so gonna you, try. you hear in the back of your mind, actually, the the voice like rumbles and roars, but you hear it as though it's speaking directly into your head. And the only things you hear are this mad ranting that says, "Kill, kill, fight, kill, maim, destroy, kill," over and Screw over you. and over again. Kill the Radiant, not all. Kill them! I knew this was gonna happen. All right. Um, All right. If I could do anything, uh, can I? Can I do anything else? Or no? you still have your move? Okay. 
Um, well, I'll take out my swords and start heading for the window, I guess. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so soft, I don't even know for sure if it came through. Mm -hmm. Window! <laughs> and to the wall? Is that Sorry, it is a wall. <laughs> They're both wind it's with both window and wall. Mm -hmm. To the window and the wall. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. I can't move. Through the time dilation we fall. <laughs> I... Oh, oh wow. the screen goes again. Oh, no. no. Alright, I want to get as far as I can to the wind. Just to the window. Okay. Speed. Oh uh, my gosh, 30. you're freaking out. Oh my oh, gosh, what is happening? I did, I did do stuff. Jack move? Let me see. 30 um, feet. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, if I can't double my move, then. No, that's that's as far as I'll go. No, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna say that you spent a lot of your time, so to speak, talking there. I'll actually only go to here so I can time, watch Sayana so uh, to see if she does anything or watch her. her coming at us to attack. I'm not looking forward to Okay. Her turn. Brynn. Okay. Um, what are the rules with the sleigh? What aren't the rules with the sleigh? Boy. Uh, you can, as an action, summon the sleigh. Okay. Using the item. It uses the item, though. It's, it's like it's a set piece. There's it's like, a, like, it's time limit. There's... Uh, it'll last for, well, so I guess you identified it, so you'd know. Um, it'll last for a little over an hour, roughly an hour. <clears throat> Do I remember from walking in, how long did it take us to walk from the edge of the fire scum in? Oh, to walk? Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's about 10 miles, so I'd say probably about three hours to walk. Okay, so we should be fine once we get up in, once we get in it and go. All right, I guess I'm going to... It's big. I'm yeah. going to warn you, it's big. Can I... Which is fine. Can I just want you to know. Room? Hold on. Can it take damage? Yes. No, but we could just... We could just die and we could just fall and drop the army. Wouldn't that be great? <coughs> um... No, sorry, okay, okay. Shift. Oh! You made it bigger. Yep. Um, it is that big, if I remember right. I have it on a different one, one two, but I believe three, it's the same. Uh, <laughs> the hole in the window isn't that big. That's why I said the palanquin uh, can also crash into stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it all right. Like it might. But to crash into things, you generally need speed. But oh, I don't helpful. want... So, the palanquin, first of all, just, it appears. I'm gonna say that first. Oh my gosh, it's huge! It is big. <laughs> um, the first thing that you notice when it appears, well, we'll go through this. It has two benches. Each of these benches can hold two people, okay? So it can hold up to four people on the benches themselves. You can also stand on the runners if you wanted to, to gain more people who are on it. That better be Rev. Um, better be Rev shooting his crossbow. The last thing that you kind of notice looking at it beyond its size is it doesn't do anything. And there is uh, kind of looking it over very quickly. Everyone kind of turns and looks at it. It's just resting there. It's not moving anywhere. It doesn't hover. It doesn't flow. Anything like this. Uh, you're like, I thought this was supposed to be a sky palanquin. What happened to the sky part of this? Uh, and Winry and Rev, looking at it from the front side, uh, are looking back towards it and see on the front there's like a sunburst image on the front of it that has a very distinct hole in the middle, as though it's missing an item that would fit into it that's roughly hand-sized, give or take, uh, that might power it. The cheese! <laughs> 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 Yeah. Have we seen anything like that? How big were those diamonds? About hand sized. Oh. Ah, I mean, with a diamonds? bone. Okay, I don't know about it though. She's done. What don't you know about it? I don't know about oh. the hole. Okay, so <clears throat> this is why I wasn't so sure I wanted to do it in initiative. Because um, you guys have roughly, uh, if you're not attacking, 
You have about three rounds to get out of here. Oh. Before okay. the dragon actually does anything. It's like getting used to it. If you oh, attacked it, it would react immediately to fight. In the meantime, it's like stretching its wings and, you know, like honing its claws and yeah, feeling okay. itself. Well, out. then, yeah. So then, you have a minute. Then I would chop one of the diamonds for Ray. I'm going to go over to. Um, what? Don't you make him sad? Ooh. Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna get in front of Darius and just like shove him like toward the uh, toward the uh, sleigh. No, I'm calling it a sleigh, guys. You guys call it. Guys. It's a sleigh. Sure. I like sleigh. Sleigh queen. Actually, I'm gonna hop up into it and I'm gonna have Parallax out ready to shoot off some um, Eldritch Blasts if, actually no, I'll shoot a couple <laughs> Eldritch Blasts at the window and knock it open further. Okay, cool. Sure. There's four stand. Yep, very I'm also nice. Gonna, I'm also gonna put my swords away, take out my arrow and uh, stand up front with Rev and he goes up front. I'm okay. holding an arrow. <laughs> you say <laughs> arrow. Just with our, be like, shoot, you just shoot, I'm ready. One arrow. <laughs> I I'm got, now. Got I, I am the bow, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to roll damage on the door or just... No, nope, not worried about it. Okay. I say, load up, everybody, let's go! So you toss one of those gems to Rev, right? Rev, I want you to make a uh, Arcana check. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say a dexterity save. Dexterity save throw. <laughs> so I'm going to... Arcana check? Yep. All right, I'll... I'll look at it and, well, I suppose it goes in this I'm way, this. but... I'm yelling. Uh, oh. 15. <laughs> Shove it in! 15, uh, I'm, like, I'm like trying so to you, concentrate. You I'm trying to like concentrate. Um, I'm like putting it in a little bit, but it feels like there's no like... Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Hold okay. On. I'll get it, 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 it. Yeah. Let us describe your insertion. <laughs> no, I want to. Uh, uh, fine. First thing that happens, you grab this this orb or this diamond, right? It is big. It's hand sized, like I said before. Uh, and you you kind of catch it in both your hands, hold it for a second, and you've seen a fair amount of magical items in your day, right? Being back from Sequin, um, having a lot of experience with mages and items, things like this. I um, a lot. The first time. thing that you get off of it is a feel of magic. And it mm -hmm. takes you back. Oh, that's not a normal diamond. There's something else going on here. You know that it's a, a, a type of magic that you're actually very familiar with. This feels very similar to something that you might have handled in the lab or something similar. And the last thing you realize is uh, it's not just like necromantic magic. You're holding a person. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Okay. I roll for the audience. I what Justin revealed. I rolled shitty, but Stephanie realized. <laughs> that's my character realized. It's do I? Can I? Oh, can, does it still yes. look like it's gonna fit in the hole? <laughs> it looks like it is the exact <laughs> size of the hole on the sleigh. There you go. Sorry I shrug. Me. I shrug and I put it in the hole. And it probably doesn't work at first. So it's got. It, I'm gonna put it in the hole. It doesn't work. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna give it a kick just so that it. You know what I mean? Like, just if, as it doesn't work, I'm gonna kick it, and then it's a gonna quick set it. Boom. It does it. Does it start up? Well, so you didn't like have it perfectly inserted at first, and then you give it a kick, and like the the gem clicks in <laughs> just a little bit further. To the left. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It clicks just a Yikes. little bit further, and as it does, um, you see that the kind of lit property of the gem just gets sucked out, oh. and the gem goes inert, but the sleigh starts to float in the air. And not only that, but everyone who's around it suddenly feels like they can fly. It actually projects aura? an aura around Ooh. it um, where anyone who's within, uh, I think it's 15 feet of it, Holy off the top crap. of that, um, <laughs> has a flight speed so that they can actually fly when you're around it as well. That's Bananas. Fly low, pick up Shalosha, and take off. <laughs> well, so you guys would have a little bit of knowledge at this point because you didn't an identify spell on this to begin I, I, with. Um, this particular thing is not meant to fly high. It never was. It's meant to fly at 100 feet maximum. 
And so going out this door is going to be a dive into a level off, basically. Yes. Uh, over like top of the army below. Uh, the other thing that you realize is someone has to drive it. And whoever is driving it has two actions that they can take on their turn. The first one is you can bank it in order to provide cover to people riding on one side or the other. And the second one is you can start taking evasive maneuvers on your flight. How is that different? Uh, I will send you a little snippet of what these mean. <laughs> How about I say it that way? Okay. Right. Brand, yep. I think, is driving, it easier, right? Brand has the most driving experience. It's funny because the reason why I've driven before is because we've been driving animals. <laughs> and this is yeah, animals. actually, is there any way for us to know, like, what, what kind of check we'd be rolling to move this thing or to fly it effectively? Oh, um... So or is she, it more just like a decision? Yes. So okay. she she can control it as she'd like to. These are just the things that it can do, if that makes sense. Uh, it's not, it. it's not that much different than Dacosti, right? It's pretty much the yeah. same deal. Totally. As I'm like climbing out, I'm like, totally, come on, it's fine. This is going to be an awful way of doing this, but I'm going to take a little photo here a of my screen. Of That's on your screen. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna end up eating the rest of this cake, y'all. Yes, I, I was wondering, you sat down with a whole plate of I should have the whole, <laughs> just the whole leftover cake. It's going perfect for the coffee. There you go. <laughs> uh, so I sent that in full group chat. You can see it. Those are kind of the two bonus actions that are actions, the additional actions that you can take as being the driver of this sleigh. Um, the last thing that it confers, just for your information, Anyone who is actively in the sleigh has a resistance to fire and also physical damage. Ooh. Only while you are in the sleigh. So if we're flying, so if I climb the sleigh and I feel it, I'm like, get this out of the sleigh! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And at this point, you have the opportunity to all pile in the sleigh and ram your way out the front door window thing if you would like to, to get out of here. Let's go! Yes. Who's going to be sitting and who's going to be... I'll stand. Uh, since Rev and I can do uh, ranged attacks, we get these Yeah, that'd be so badass. I'm doing another one. So Katie much judgment. It might, it might be better, Justin, if you just tell us what's going on and then Brynn can just say what she's going to have it do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some rules in this. Don't worry. Don't worry. So are you ready to, to fly out? Yeah. yeah I, I sort of like, as I'm getting used to it. Is it the window to... wide enough? Yeah, just yes. yeah, We're going to bump it. Go bust it, bust it, bump bust it. Bust it. I sort of like yeah. back it up all the way through the door and then like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's flying. Oh, mm -hmm. Justin. <laughs> Is that her? <laughs> I actually deleted this off the map. I saw the map, slave so pop up I thought it was a cheeseburger. <laughs> it was a oh, spit on the computer. Spit on the floor. It's time. Tell me I'm wrong. It looked like a cheeseburger for a second. Just to make it smaller. Uh, Does it look like a cheeseburger? No. <laughs> Squish it down. No. It doesn't look like it's really me. burnt dumplings on that plate. Um, this is just going to be how you guys are flying for the time being, unless you tell me otherwise. How about that? Yeah, I just got threw people in here randomly. I know. I think and, Revan and um, Ari on opposite sides. Yeah, we're we're wherever we can be to shoot. Uh, if we. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yep, yep, that's fine. He's not sitting my lap. That's for sure. All right, Aww. how's that? That better? <laughs> Everyone happy with that? Okay. Mom in the front, the rest of you in the back. Yeah. Uh, Quiet! <laughs> I'm driving up here. <laughs> So you, you pile in the sleigh, you start to hear the dragon oh, no. behind you knitting itself together, getting ready, and the sleigh comes flying out through the front and soaring over top of the army gathered below. As you do so, a couple things happen. Shalosha looks to her bodyguards and says, come with me. Uh, and all three of them uh, take a moment, say a magical word and begin to fly upwards towards you guys. And this is the point where Mathari first finally sees her because y'all have said nothing. Yeah, Rev. Yeah, didn't, Rev. I didn't, yeah. Didn't Nobody she said make anything. eye contact with, with Rev. Oh, with oh, with oh her because with she window. broke the window. Okay. No, last session, Rev looked out the window and was like, huh, what are oh. those people? But she didn't make eye contact with 
And no. Rev also didn't mention it really all that much. And honestly, uh, if there's if there's anybody in the crowd that looks like a certain uh, necromancer slash transmuter plus a giant <laughs> creature, no, uh, that man is not amongst that the man. the crowd that has gathered here. Unfortunately for Ooh, you, is that what Rev does? He's scanning the crowd for him. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I want to be in the back of the slate, and I'm looking back at the window. Is it big enough for the dragon to fly out? Uh, yeah. How well, far, how far away is the window? Well, you're rapidly gaining speed away from it at about 80 feet around. Hang on a second. Let me look at something. Well, the yes. other thing that happens while you're looking that up is a couple of Regessians jump onto wyverns that are oh. nearby and begin to fly upwards towards you as well. The rest of the army takes out bows and starts to shoot upwards, but unfortunately for them, beyond the air, it is quite high up, first of all, shooting straight up, not very easy to do. Yeah. Secondly, they're trying to shoot up basically through the bottom of the palanquin, doesn't work at all. Uh, effectively, you're flying at a level that is above their range, fortunately. Um, but what you guys note is as you come out, like I said, it nosedives immediately because you guys were above the height range initially of it. It drops about 100 feet downwards, like a roller coaster, and then levels out as Bryn kind of maintains control of it, kind of slams down and then starts to scoot off awesome. into the distance through the canyon. So As you are being chased by Shalosha, flying with her two bodyguards. She's flying actually in front of her bodyguards, as you can kind of see on the map here. Uh, and the wyverns in behind them, uh, trying to keep up as much as they can through the, the carnage or the, the, the chaos behind. Them. Do you Before we get too far, does it seem like the dragon is knitted together and potentially coming after us? Well, after two rounds, after about twelve seconds, uh, you feel the vibrations almost through the air as it roars in the distance. Okay. So you said that the wall can be busted through with the pound coin, right? Mm -hmm. So it's feasible that if the uh, window wasn't available, the dragon could still get out. Possibly, maybe. Unclear. And did you say it, it might break take, the hands on the water or hinder it? At the very least, it might. And also, are the Regessians shooting straight up in the air? Are any of these aerials coming back down onto them? <laughs> Okay. Because uh, that would be really arcs over. It's a guy yeah. twelve feet over. They're probably landing uh, yeah. relatively amongst them at first uh, until the general the like yells at them and it's like, "Yeah, stop it, you fools, like idiots." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you're you're, a fire, you're idiot. idiot. No, I don't remember what I said. Oh. <laughs> Did you say it was Regressians on the library? Yes. Oh. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Before we get out of range, I'm going to thrust uh, Parallax up towards the window. Ew. And I want to make as thick of a barrier Ew. on that back wall with <laughs> wall of force okay. to stop the dragon or at least slow it down. Okay. It stays for the duration, which is 10 minutes, no matter the range, but it's still concentration, so I can still drop it. Okay. Um, I would probably say, I hate to do this, I think it would give you a round where the dragon would slam into the wall of force first and be like, the fuck? And then it'd back up <laughs> and it would slam through just a side wall basically and force oh, its way okay. out a different okay. direction. Take... Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah, yes, that does make sense. All right. We'll take 10 off that 500. <laughs> <laughs> now it feels like we fucked up. All right, then if it's okay, I, I won't do it. That's so, fine. So off his question, well, not off his question, but getting a vibe, does it feel like the uh, Shahalasi people floating up to us are aggressive or are like, are they running spells or? So Shalosha's or? chasing, uh, and I would ask you to make a perception check. Well, good. Did I, did we, we took a berry. We still have, we still have a good berry effect. So was this perception, perception wisdom? Yeah. Yeah. Our, Okay. Give me your remembering stuff. Uh, that's a plus D4 of it, though. So that's pretty much it. Well, it's a D4? Yeah. Uh, perception is. Is it not time for you to get new dice? Well, oh. Okay. I was thinking about getting it for a win. Uh, you. <laughs> oh, there you go. 
you can hear, uh, just in the background, you can hear, first of all, that she's shouting. And the second thing you can hear, uh, you can't hear the whole sentence, but uh, what you pick out is, um, land and talk. Land and talk, you won't be harmed! As you guys are flying away, and she's chasing at roughly the same speed uh, as these wyverns also are alighting behind. Shoot her up. I will. Wait. wait. I will. I will. Uh, I will at least say to Bryn and the others, if they want us to land and talk, can we at least land away from the army if we do? Well, this is around the same moment that the dragon slams oh, yeah. through the wall the behind and starts chasing you guys from behind instead. And she turns back around and is like, Your priority. Shades! What the? F-? <laughs> and then uh, she just starts flying with you guys as much as she can. But here, um, we did already have initiative. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. reset us back to the beginning of said initiative as the dragon is rapidly catching up to you guys. It has a fly speed that is much faster than you, it is going to catch up quickly. If there's any preparation that you want to do, you have one round to do any preparation spells or preparation actions and preparation H. Uh, it, <laughs> so <laughs> my so, actions are going to be the slay actions, correct? Unless you want to do something else, and then the slay doesn't fly, or it doesn't have any but special it effect. Drop. Correct. Uh, as long as she's there, like at the controls it stays in your control. It will still fly forwards at 80 feet. It just will fly straight forward. So any last effects that you would like to do, anyone, before we begin normal initiative? Looking. I think, oh, is I it? hate that my aura, I don't have any more channel of it, please. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be fun. Like lives for this moment when I'm out of town. <laughs> is it possible? Uh, how fast are the? This idea. How fast are the uh, Ishlosha and her bodyguards flying? They're, the they're same flying the same speed as the palanquin. Yes. Okay. All right. I think I want to. I think I'm trying to not medicate. Okay. Um. Can we all? Sorry. Is breath weapon a magical effect? No, it's just physical damage. Uh-huh. Um, and can we all tell that it's Shalosha? Yes. Like, I, like uh, Ryan had asked this last time. Um, she has like her banner effectively right. that's being like held, so to speak. Okay, you can all recognize her despite yeah. uh, her in like battle regalia, so to speak. Her hair flies free. She's very distinctive. Plus, I know the curves of her body, like the back of my hand. Wow. <laughs> oh, this um, is I thought you said you failed that. <laughs> failed that. Failed the that time, that. at uh, least. Because I, yeah. Anyway. And then, I mean, we, could we don't know what how she, does she look to me like she's coming at us? Not immediately. Well, she's coming she at you. She looks like she's fleeing the yes. dragon like now, attacking I think. Us. She was chasing uh, us. She was chasing really. us, and now she's running with us. Yeah. Okay. So we could grab her, land away from the army, and fight the dragon. I'm I don't gonna, think we can escape the dragon like this. Or, I'm gonna look to Mitharia. Fight in the sky. I'm gonna look to Mitharia and say, "What is she doing?" And I'm pulling out my wand of dispel magic. Ooh. So I I want to look to Jack. I'm not doing anything yet. I just have it in my okay. hand. Yep. What are you pointing it at? Nothing yet. I think I'm going to cast... Okay, from the dragon, when we did see it coming together, could I... Is there any way I could have tell, like, did Deception bring it back with a specific type of magic? Is it... It's... <laughs> It's own form. So he held up, if you remember correctly, he held up this black orb, which like stretched out from this orb into the bones and began to knit its spirit, like its body together. Could I tell <laughs> from this a little bit of study that I did if he was doing necromancy? I, well, I mean, it's very reasonable to think that it might be at least. You don't, you've never seen whatever he held in yeah. his hand and did. 
This is something that is not standard but magic. But he brought so to speak. something back to life. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the dragon that has necromantic damage. I want it. I want it. Some aura. Five. <laughs> yeah, let's go. She's gonna be. In I'm gonna do aura. Four. Aura vitality is concentration for a minute. Okay. You begin to concentrate on the aura of vitality, and at this point, we are going to start initiative. We're I'm just going to respond to Jackson. We are that's all gonna I was going to stick do. with the same ones. It's already been rolled. So, Winry, you are the first one if you have anything you'd like to do with this kind of range. Is the dragon isn't up yet. The dragon. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still in the GM layer. Uh, it is at the back behind everybody else, but it is rapidly closing in on everyone. It's not too expensive. And Justin, I hate yeah. to say it, but you got to re enter all of us in the initiative because you changed the map. Gosh dang it. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Nope. Uh, I rolled a four. I rolled a ten. Seven. Oh. Don't worry, I've got it. I've got it. I still got it. I. Run! Run! Run. Run. Oh, hurry up. I don't know if I can respond to Jack or not. Buy you fools. Buy you fools. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I need to delete all of these. Can I respond to Jack or should I wait till. You want me to wait until I can. Uh, I'm fine with you saying something. That's fine. Okay. Uh, she'll just kind of say, I, I don't know. I want to trust her, but I want to trust her. Hurt from our skelly belly. No. Not anymore? No, I'm only done one. Skelly belly. Oh, did we heal? Yeah. Yeah. I think you healed yeah, us. Clam Lauren healed us a little bit too, I think. Yeah. Or at least it was offered, so. It was offered, yeah. I'm just gonna get ready to punch the dragon. Punch the dragon, dragon. yeah. The if dragon. it gets close to us. Is that the first time you've said that? Dragon? Punch, punch. the dragon? Get, I'm getting punch ready to punch the dragon. dragon. All right. I have everyone back at oh, it again. That's a big initiative. Yeah. Um, also, you probably said this already, Justin, but how fast is the slave flying? 80. 80 feet per second, yep. The dragon flies oh, there it is. at 100, mm-hmm. 120 oh, per round. Uh, and could, in theory, at least double move, so it That's will catch up down. very fast. Right mm-hmm. quick. Uh, Alright, I've got these. 18 yeah, for Winry. P. P number one, everybody! One. No, there she goes! Two! Oh, What we're talking about. Cassie has peed is significant amounts when she has been <laughs> significant here. Significant amounts. Now we're keeping tally for the game. Been drinking a lot. Is he back? Oh, he is back. Oh, yeah, my bad. Here. I can't see who's here while I'm doing stuff because I'm doing stuff on my phone at the same time. We're texting. We're playing a game. I Just know. I'm very distracted, yeah. everybody. I'm what? sorry. I took both three. Three. Why did I raise that? Yeah, you did or not? Uh, not. I'm almost done. Can I get one more drink? Okay, it's also good. That's what I was going to do. So sadly, oop, sadly she ran away. Of no, course, she was first. She's first. Said she's wait- yeah, waiting for she the dragon said she's to holding punch. her action to punch the dragon. Oh, you're right. She, she did. did say that. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Rev, you're going to be before her. Rev, it's you. Uh, how far is the dragon away from me? Uh, you tell me. A ways. Oh, I have you guys backwards on this palanquin, don't I? Yeah, I've been trying to just. I've been trying to figure out what's going on. Oh. A yeah, little bit. Yeah, see, he and I are. You guys wanted to be in the back. Oh, I couldn't yes. tell where the back of the... So we have our arrow. Oh! oh gosh <laughs> dang it. <laughs> I keep going out of the map. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it's a way that I can measure. No, I, I got it now. I know that I realize what's going on. Yeah, well, we thought the dragon was at the top of the map. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's just outside of my range. Can't you do your steadying shot or something like that? That dragon looks like it's like if you don't move. 
Uh, what? The dragon looks like it has human teeth. <laughs> yeah, oh, can I... It? Can I, like, what? prop the the bow up? Yep. I think we had something for this. Uh, yeah. And so you can spend an action to secure your bow in place in order to gain... Uh, it's nullify range. long range, I think it it's was. bonus Something action like to get it if he doesn't move. Uh, okay. You know, you know what? There is actually a real thing for this. Yeah, there is. <laughs> and, That's what and, you know, is. and you know what, though? Uh, by the time I get all this set up, the dragon's going to be right on top of us anyway. So I'm going to steady in action so that when the dragon is 80 feet away from me, I will shoot him. Perfect. Shoot her! And here's a good question. To sneak attack only ping on allies, what constitute an ally? Does it inc like include everybody who is enemy of my enemies? My an enemy, yeah, yeah is an to some extent, as long as they are not actively hostile to you. Then yes. So that's the other thing that I thought with your stunning shot is if you didn't move, you got advantage or something. That's what I. I don't think that's. I'll look, to look it up. I'll look it up. <laughs> there is actually a thing about this. There is. Yeah. Now. Uh, in the meantime, so you're prepping your your shot one way or the other uh, yeah. on your turn. You're waiting for whatever needs to happen. Yep. Okay. Steady aim is a bonus action. You give yourself advantage on your next attack roll on the current turn. You can use this bonus action only if you haven't moved during this turn. And after you use the bonus action, your speed is zero until the end of your next turn. Okay, yeah, but let's do that. Bonus action, steadying aim. Okay. That's not like a feed uh, or anything. It's not turn. a... He's only on your turn, so he'd have to shoot right now in order to get that. You can't ready the shot afterwards. You're right, it doesn't fades. turn out round. Oh, okay, well then I can still do it and take a shot at him. Wait, and it's advantage? Yeah, it would be... It would be at even then because it'd be long range disadvantage and advantage for studying shot canceling out. You'd be at even roll. Okay, then I'll take the shot. Go for it. Sixteen. Sixteen does not. Wait, nope, just, nope, wait. Oh. Don't, don't. Hey, I'm gonna do. You're fine. I'm, fine. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hush. Pers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna do pre precision. Even I was gonna do it, even though you say it. You You're said fine. that I was You're gonna. Fine. You're was fine. Gonna anyway. Yep, I spoke too quick. Ooh, because because I felt bad last time that I was like, oh, precision means that I can. How come it's not working here? My uh, it's not allowing me to select dice here. I can select these. This. 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 Dice. Oh man, Justin doesn't let me do it anymore. Oh no. Haven't you bought dice yet? <laughs> I don't know where my dice it's are. Worth it. no. There's, no, you. I got them as a gift one time, yeah. But I don't have them with me. I, mean, I can roll you a d8 if you want me to. I can roll my own. I can roll d8. Yeah, I got you. Oops. Wrong one. Wrong one. D8. D8. Where is it? There it is. All right. Plus two, so that makes it 18 to hit. 18. The shot goes across the distance, kind of flying past all of these other members, uh, and it just scrapes along the scales of the dragon and flies backwards beyond it. Shit! You had me go 18. on there, Alright, that's my turn. Uh, okay. I am not going to have anyone move on this map because they are effectively flying straight behind you unless anyone is turning like and doing something weird. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you're moving yeah. relative to the palanquin whenever you move. Uh, the palanquin will continue moving forwards unless I hear otherwise. <laughs> Uh, so for the time being, Shalosha continues to chase after you, looking back over her shoulder in fear. Just, what did you do? <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Great questions. Darkness below, what have you done? Land, please! I love her. Uh, like, did everybody hear her? Yes. Yeah, she's screaming cool. loud enough. <laughs> she's yelling it out, and I look at Brynn and go, must go faster. <laughs> hey, Landon, what's she talking about? 
Uh, these wyverns are a little bit faster. They will catch up a little bit here as oh. they move forwards. Um, but effectively, the the other elves are just flying back behind Shalosha. It almost looks like she was faster, like outpaced them, and has kept her distance away from them. Oh, interesting. Uh, and so, Mitharia, it will be you who's up next. Yeah, I'm just gonna, um, oh boy. I, how far is Joy away from me? 100 feet. Joy! <laughs> So any shots I fire are going to be at disadvantage. I mean, you can also take the steady, I, th- I believe, right? That's not exclusive to it's rogues. Is it rogues it's, exclusive? Yeah, it's a rogue. rogue feature. Just Joy. kidding. Thanks. It's supposed so to be also, like their cunning mm-hmm. action. I mean, there's nothing else I can really do. Talk to it. Shoot, Shal- shoot Shalosha. I am <laughs> not shooting Shalosha. Oh, Wait. Wait, are these Wyvern Riders, are they Rigesian or? Yes. Okay, well. The the Wyvern Riders are Rigesian. I'm going to start shooting at the Wyverns. Okay. Not the Riders, but the Wyverns. Mm -hmm. Uh, That is a, wow, I can't do math tonight, wonderful. Um, 14 plus nine is- 23. 23, thank you. 23 does hit the Wyvern. Which one are you aiming at, left or right? Uh, Left. Um, that is a plus five, I think. Oh, joy. What have I done? Um, it's a, it's a plus five. So, um, seven piercing. Okay. Seven points. The first arrow kind of, uh, skims through and kind of brushes through one of its wings, kind of tearing out a little chunk of it as it, uh, kind of roars back a little bit at you. I'm gonna do my second shot. Oh, that is only a 12 to hit. Uh, 12 does not actually hit, unfortunately. Kind of off balance, kind of bouncing up slightly. Uh, don't have to, or don't make, uh, don't make contact with the next shot. Yes. Uh, third attack. That's a natural one. Yeah, that's that one. Unfortunately, that arrow uh, kind of fumbles out of your fingers and flops out of the sleigh instead of uh, actually <laughs> being shot. <laughs> um, I mean, he is saying what I'm thinking. <sighs> can I'm gonna say, Rin, can we pick up Shosha, please? That's what Ryan just messaged me. Tell Brandon to slow down so he gets. See, message it. Mess- you messaging <laughs> everybody on the. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. It's what I. It's what I. I. I don't feel it's in my place to say that we should pick her up. It's not what a. It's not what. We don't think it's do. a rev thing to do. Okay. But oh, it is something. It is something that I want to see the group do. Yeah, okay. you're saying what I'm thinking anyway. So, so you're saying it to like, you said it to Masari and Jack, essentially. Yes, the two people that I think would be <laughs> smart enough to go pick up for Russia. Instead of Masari and Jack, yeah. Huh. Wow, I, I already Ooh. had a plan Yeah, for I heard that too. Smart enough? I heard smart enough there. Winry, Winry and oh. I... <laughs> Are... We're the muscle here. We're the muscle here. <laughs> no. the group. Um, I'll just say... I I want to trust her, and I honestly think she'll help us here, even if even if she isn't temporarily on our side. I common goals. Just slow, just a little bit. All right. And well, that's my turn. Bryn, it's you next. Okay then. So with this evasive maneuvers, can that include maybe circling back, like? Mm. Maybe just slow down a little and let it catch up. So there. if if you just slowed down effectively, uh, I would just move everyone up by whatever distance you slowed down on the map because they would be covering their same amount of distance that you would have, and you're just going to cover a little bit less. But I also wanted to do the evasive maneuvers in case it's dragging, you know. Sure, that's fine. Um, um, yeah. I guess is that two separate things to slow down? Oh, so. The slow is effectively your move. You cannot move okay. unless you are. Uh, like you can break from the palanquin, so to speak, to move. Yeah. 
but it would no longer move on its own. Gotcha. Okay. So you're spending your move to Just will slow. the palanquin forward however much you want to go. My action will be the evasive maneuver on the palanquin. Okay. And then my bonus action, I wish I would have taken stock outside of this. Um, I'm going to do 2d6. Um, I'll start with myself. 2d6 to me for help. For my, for my dog. Okay. Oh, nine. Double sixes. I only had, I was only two down. So how much are you slowing down? Just the Shalosha. Shalosha. So you're going to drop back Shalosha. 10, 20, well, I think we want to 30 slow feet. down the amount that she can move so that... So you want to slow down 30 feet so that she gets right to the back edge of it? Yes. Okay. That so I sense. am going to move her up to here. And I'm going to move everybody else up five squares to go with it. Can you imagine if she was looking back at the dragon when Brynn hit the brakes? <laughs> she just into it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I need to move oh, no. the dragon up five squares as well. So she is right on the edge. Uh, you're taking evasive maneuvers initially, uh, and so she's like grabbing on at the last second, pulling Well, she's also now in the. In the Palquin's aura. Yeah, yes. in the aura. So she can fly. Like, even better she, than yes. she already is. Yes, she is flying. Oh, so when <laughs> She's she, double flying. When she took off, did we see her cast the spell on her two bodyguards? Don't know. <laughs> oh, it's yours. It's, oh. It was a real Wait, fast no, thing no, that no, happened. You don't know for sure who cast here. what. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Pass it over the microphone. Oh. Uh, but she she grabs onto the edge of it and she says, "I, you know what? Landing doesn't seem prudent right now. Uh, I think we can keep going." Good plan. <laughs> but you see it all way. Oh, nice. I say hi, princess. So flirting. Master. Oh no! I think that that's that's true. I think to say it, I'm like, "Ha!" Oh, shut mm-hmm. up. Oh, I, hey. Mm. hey. Hey, hey, girl. Hey, so, yeah, no, like, how uh, you doing? So. Uh, I, mean, I kind of like the idea of like Winry punching Jack when he says that. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack goes flying out of the panel. Oh, no. <laughs> Not that hard. I was thinking more like just that. Uh, I mean, she's a monk. It would be that hard. Uh, but yeah, she's she's grabbed on the back, um, going with you guys to, uh, as you go, effectively. Though she is, for evasive maneuvers going forward, she is holding on to the back Sorry. of the palanquin, effectively. Though she's also flying on her own, so she, like, it's more skiing. like what? She like water skiing. Yes, effectively, she's water skiing <laughs> nice. on the back. Uh, she's looking over her shoulder at the dragon, uh, and then she looks for it, and she makes eye contact with you, and she flushes furiously, and then she just looks back over her shoulder <laughs> once more. That was to Mitharia, by the way, not for everyone else. I assume. Else. I'm in Listen, I get it. All right. Winners are not low standards. We get it. <laughs> wow. Oh, she settles. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next thing that happens then is the dragon's turn. On its right. turn, it breathes out. Yep. But what it breathes out is the surprising part. Oh, don't, don't, don't you say What'd you say? It doesn't it does it blow out love. flames initially. Love. What it actually <laughs> breathes out is this very strange, like sweet smelling, you can't smell it, I guess, but uh, this gas. And it reaches. 60 feet, which is right to the back edge, basically, of, yeah, just behind Shalosha. All of the people behind you, the wyverns, the wyvern riders, and the elves, the Sole Palancis that are behind her, um, they all suddenly turn on each other. Oh. Just very suddenly, it's like something went over them, took over their mind, and they turned on each other, and very quickly over the... They fade backwards into the distance, uh, no longer a relevant part of the battle at this point in time, as they are out of here and fighting each other. Doesn't the dragon see all the people at the um, floor? It has eyes for you. (laughs) It's shot like anti-love. This wonderful flying a bit yeah. of meat yeah. and morsel that it wants to kill, and the only thing in its mind is kill them. Can I? Are the, the Rhodesians shooting at this dragon now, or 
They tried to, but it is very, I mean, you guys are going fast it's over the really, top. It would be almost impossible to hit. What kind of happens is as you're going through the cavern, there's more people like streaming in here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, and so like they see all of a sudden this like jet basically come flying <laughs> over top of them and they reach for their bows. And by the time they're like, what the heck happened? Gone. The dragon <laughs> boom, goes right over top of them next. And they're like, what the heck? This is Ryan, this is just what I wanted. <laughs> this is very cool. Are, is the, are, the, are the walls of flame still being held at bay by whatever like it was that we did Defense. getting in here? Yeah, so you can see they're collapsing inwards as you guys were coming, but they're not collapsing aggressively. The, um, the they're like of fire, yeah. In the the storm. rain, the rain, yeah. yeah. Rain, of rain of fire. Um, it is, you can still see it, it's closer than it was before. Uh, and as Jack and the palanquin is going, it is trying to create a bubble. Uh, but it's like speed of sound kind of thing, where the air is compressing, so to speak, in front of you, and it's, it's not able to always uh it's not keeping it up as much as it should if you were going at a slower pace uh, but it is reopening the way as you go through show me the way uh <laughs> that is those people off the turn order you're welcome we're down to seven um and the dragon will spend its turn to fly an additional 60 feet catching hey. up to you right to the edge uh rev you took your shot never mind you said you were going to hold it at first mm -hmm. uh then you didn't um it makes it right up to the back edge of this bubble effectively and it is breathing hot down your neck and you all you can hear in your heads uh it's like the dragon's thoughts are being like pushed out into all of your minds and all you can hear is this slow chant of aggression aggression Fresh, almost like rhythmic in the back of your mind. It's almost like a different kind of trill than me. Maybe. Jack. Oh, Gresh, you're next. <laughs> really? Um, I am going to say essentially step on it, Bryn, even though it doesn't make sense to yep. be on pedals. Yep. Go faster, Bryn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull Parallax back, thrust it forward, and an arcane, giant arcane hand flies out. I'm casting Bigby's hand. Okay. I want to grab one of its wings. Ooh. Ooh. Grasping Ooh. hand is one of the things, but it also has a strength score. So either, I'll leave it up to you what you want to do. Grasping hand does a grapple. Um, I have used that hand before. The hand strength score, use the hand strength score to resolve the grapple. Um, up here. Up here, hand. Please. I'm gonna get stuck. Please, sir, I would, like, I would like a hand. Please give hand. I know she probably. I'll try a different hand. This one's by Rob A. That seems thematic. Sure does. There it is. Hey. And. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, so it's large, it's right? It's large. It is indeed. Bonk. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. They're up. I think they're up like that. They're up. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like this. Palm, you can see his fingers reaching up. They do look tiny, though. Now that you say it that way. Okay, uh, so grappling, right? I want to grab its wing so it has trouble continuing to follow us. Okay, so what does the grappling hand action yep. say? So the hand attempts to grapple a huge or smaller creature within five feet of it. Okay. Use the hand's strength score to resolve the grapple. Um, while the hand is grappling the target, I can use a bonus action to crush it, but I don't care. I just want to stop it from chasing us. Okay. So you're using oh, your strength again. score to do a grapples. This is a contested check against the dragon's strength as well. Yes. I get a plus eight to this. Okay. Uh, I need to make sure I'm rolling the right thing. Oh. Don't bother. Oh, that's fun. Do you roll one? Oh no, I rolled a 19. Uh, so I rolled a 32. I rolled a 10. <laughs> uh, so it attempts to grapple it, 
And Big B's, better not Big B's, because that's trademarked. Um, <laughs> We're playing 5e. I know. I was trying to think of in the world. Uh, we've already talked about this. Evocation yes. was. Oh, um, like, hang on. I'll oh get my it. gosh, what's his name? I'll get it. Oh, hang oh, on. Come on. Shut up, I got it. Don't anyone say it. I got it in my notes. Evocation. We Brighton. Have... Brighton. Yep. Yeah. We so it's Brighton's with... hand. Brighton's big hand? Yeah. It's bright hand. Right hand. Right in his big hand, as opposed to his little hand. <laughs> Pick the strong hand. <laughs> He's got a shrunken hand. That's what you have to say to cast the spell. That's the verbal component. Yeah, right. uh, but yeah, the hand attempts to grab uh, aggression. I'll give you his name because at this point I think it's fairly obvious. Uh, tries to grab onto the wing. At the last second, it like <clears throat> dodges out of the way and swats it with the wing out of the way instead. By the way, just so that I, I'm visual. That was a ability check. What, Ryan? So just to hand. visualize it, like Jack is actually with his hand, like trying to grab at the dragon, like as he's st sitting in his palaquin or like hunched over, like watching. He's like with his hand trying to grab it, and the hand like mimics his actions. <laughs> no, because I've got. <laughs> I love the idea of Jack like turned around backwards on the seat, like huddled behind it, like reaching out with one hand. Yeah, no, that's exactly like that's what it is. Kid in a giant oversized seat, like <laughs> looking backwards. I mean, yeah, I'm good with that. So I like stick parallax into like the seat, and I'm using my hand to kind of like manipulate it. So, I mean, I have my reaction. Can I use? Oh no, I failed. You won, but you're not gonna roll a two. Never mind. We're good. Um, that well, I have a bonus action. So I but the hand, bonus. the hand does remain though. It's not a concentration. It does. Yeah, but it here's has the cool its thing. own fly it moves speed. Like 30 feet. It doesn't fly fast enough. This was a one shot hope, and it did not work out. Oh, that's too bad. That's okay. It flies sixty feet, but it's not going to be able to keep up with us. Um, uh, it might have a chance to. Do something on its next turn if it does see. if the dragon doesn't move. That's all I can do <laughs> on uh, my turn. Okay. If the dragon doesn't move. It'll be a butt, Justin. Well, it has things that it can do. Uh anyway. Winry. Okay. Closer. Um so you can fly, remember, if you want to. And you can but fly at the same easy. speed as the palanquin does. Oh, so how this actually works. Okay, I should have been more turn. specific. Um, oh. You can fly for two rounds. You can leave the sphere, and oh. as long as you come back before the That's end of your feet. next round, you will continue to fly. If you don't make it back in before the end of your next round... Okay. Like out of the 15 feet? Yep. Oh. If you don't make it back before the end of your next round, uh, you will feather fall to the ground. Oh. Okay. Well, I have feather fall anyway. So it's not oh, definitely a fly. This doesn't it's... apply to Winry because she can move 500 feet around. <laughs> well, her fly speed is not affected by whatever she can do. Her fly speed is what it is within this aura. So but you she can have. Still do her monk abilities with, yes. With... So you have a 80, right. 80 foot uh, fly speed that you can use. You can go out, you can. But then you might have to double move in order to make it back if you need to catch back up to the thing. I can move 80 feet. Yes. Fly speed? Yes. Mm, you can go anywhere. You could go anywhere on the map, as always. Yeah, right. This I is don't want to go anywhere, though, but that's You don't have to. I'm just letting forward. you know. You can move forward, punch it, and then move back to your seat. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move here because I can punch it from here. <gasps> yeah. I imagine as I'm driving, I'm like, 22 can, to hit. You can fly. 22 does, <laughs> does hit. Jump. 1d10. Lost it. Oh, you caught it. 12 damage. Very nice. 12 points of damage. And I haven't hit it yet. Oh, it's every turn. It's every round. Never mind. Yep. Two cold damage. Okay. We're gonna punch it again. Go for it. Twenty-five. Does hit. Thirteen damage. Very nice. And we're gonna flurry blows. 
15, 26. 26 does it. Blocking the elevator. Yep. Nine damage. Oh, no. Nope. Yep. 27 to hit. Does hit also. Goodness. Oh, that's right. Yeah, two. 16 damage. damage. Oof. A huge <laughs> flurry of like five attacks or whatever mm -hmm. from Windry. Just punch, 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 punch. Uh, landing a bunch of hits. Uh, as you move back, you oh, do no. actually leave its uh, sphere of influence mm -hmm. uh, uh, effect no. because it has uh, longer reach as well. Maybe punch uh, from the Palanquin next time. <laughs> and so it is no. going to attempt to bite you as you leave. Uh, it rolls a total of 20 to hit. Yep. I'm using the dragon dice exclusively for this one. <laughs> that, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, it deals uh, 19 points of piercing uh, damage. That's, that's a lot. Not 190, though. Okay. Uh, as you re get your seat next to Jack as he's looking backwards, uh, kind of land with a little bit of a nip. Uh, uh, out of you, or uh, whatever. Of yeah, a little bit of nip exposed. Um, <laughs> what? What's going what on? What is happening? <laughs> she to, said it, Jack. okay? Out it meant. Uh, it, oh, wasn't it? No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, you make it back to your seat uh, with a little bit of an injury. Yep. Uh Is that the end of your turn, Winry? Yeah. Oh, like it nipped her. Yep. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Winry, or <laughs> no, <laughs> it's you. Nips are out. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna fire a crossbow, and the first one is a one. The second one is a 17 because oh, oh. I'm a halfling. I get to reroll the one. Yes. Um, nice. Actually, so I'm gonna say that like I'm posted up to shoot, and uh, as I shoot, like actually the palaquin like pops a little bit in like some air turbulence, so the bolt kind of like kind of like falls back a little bit, and the the bolt goes flying out, and I'm assuming it hits. The dragon at uh, 26, right? 20, yep, 26 does hit, yes. Uh, nine damage. I don't think I get sneak attack, okay. right? Um, uh, so the hand is not technically a thing that you can give it to, I don't believe. And no one else yeah. is within five feet of it. All right, and with that, I'm gonna drop the crossbow and I'm gonna just kind of roll over the side of this thing and then nice. roll down the side of it and roll underneath it and try to like kind of okay. smart okay try to be Absolutely. a little bit hidden from the dragon uh and Absolutely. hide hide by the way and yeah you're so smart ryan okay so i'm uh, i'm hidden now ahead and, yeah well go ahead and make a self check yeah well, i'm trying to hide now i guess we're trying to say uh Oot. Uh, oh, I can roll again because I, I didn't roll. I didn't move half my speed. Can, do you count that, Justin? Let's see. It's like. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You only moved about 10, 15 feet. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. I agree. Ooh. All right. There you go. 24. Very nice. Okay. 24. Uh, that is the end, is that the end of your turn then? Yeah, so I am I am hidden underneath this palaquin right now, or trying to hide underneath the palaquin. Are you holding on with one hand and? Yeah, like I'm I'm trying to grasp the side of it, but I'm also using what I'm assuming is my flying powers to stay going. Right, right. Because like Justin, just to understand the flying, you said two rounds. Is that two rounds outside of the palaquin, just in general, or if I stay in the palaquin's aura, I can fly indefinitely? Yes, you can fly indefinitely within the aura. Okay. Um, once yeah. you are outside of the aura, if you end your turn it's outside of it, the feet. next turn after that, you have to make it back in. Otherwise, yeah. you that's, fall. That's kind of what I thought you were trying to say. Great. Perfect. It's like um, a constantly I, refreshing aura that lasts for 12 seconds, is the yeah. way you can think about it. So as long as you're in the aura every 12 seconds, you can go in and out of it as much as you want. Yeah. I'm, I'm currently I'm currently Tom Cruise. I'm currently Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 4 on the under on the underside of this palette right now. Yeah, I know. Very nice. Okay. Um, it is Shalosha's turn at this point. Um, Please look not babe here, girlfriend. Be cool, bitch. Shake you off. Oh, she'll be cool. I have a 
bad feeling that she'll be cool. Bad feeling? Too yeah. cool? Yeah. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Rum? Yeah. She's a cracker. She's ice. I do have ice. ice. I had eight ice cubes. What the hell? That's how Her? I usually drink my ice cream. <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I walked up and got myself some pom oh, I'm sorry, but why? You okay? Uh, you know what she's gonna do? Berries. Um, before, uh, no, she's fine with doing it afterwards. Um, she actually still knows where Rev went. She's... Very presented. She's presented. Well, not only that, uh, she... <laughs> She has ways of knowing where Rev went, uh, and so she actually like dips down briefly, looks oh. below, uh, and reaches out one finger towards you, oh, Rev. Okay. Yes, uh, reaches out one finger towards you, Rev, and as she does so, you feel precision flood into you. Uh, oh. She actually will cast True Strike upon you uh, oh. to be able to give you advantage on your next attack. Oh. Uh, and she kind of um, she doesn't say too much, but as she does so, she kind of like makes it look like she's like wavering for a, a split second to try to not blow his cover as much as possible. And she says, "Strike true." Uh, and then she uh, just pulls herself up, uh, moves next to to Mitharia, looks over and says, "I'm sorry," uh, and then just ducks behind the the back of the palanquin for oh, a moment. Yeah. I hear say strike two and I shake the palanquin. <laughs> and smack Rev in the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you. I wasn't flirting with her. She was. I am. She was flirting with me! <laughs> Maybe. Uh, with Ari, yeah. I would be in silly. That didn't happen. It's you up next. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Crap. Okay, so for like the fifth time. As long as I'm in the sleigh by the end of my next turn, yes. I'm fine. Yes. Okay. But that's only if you go 15 feet out of the, away from the sleigh. So if I am just... Can you guys not see the aura? Can she see there? No. You probably can't see no the aura. aura. Oh, Hold on. For... I know it's 15 feet, but no, there's no aura. Why are you so bad at this? I just pushed it. I am dropping my bow on the seat. I am sorry. I should have swords. given you the sight of oh, the aura. Mm -hmm. Fly out of there. Apologies. So 15 feet out the sides, but only 10 feet out the back? Well, it's it's a 10... <laughs> so the token has actually got some white space at the front of it. Um, but yeah, it is actually a 10 foot aura in got theory. It. It's giving you a little bit of buffer space. Got it, okay. Because cool. that's how circles work on uh -huh. square objects, It's or oh. rectangular objects. It's very yes. awkward. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> okay, dropping the bow on the seat, taking out the swords, bonus action lighting them. I'm not saying anything to Shalosha. Okay. Um, Leaving her behind, I see. No, just kind of like thinking about saying, <laughs> she says she says sorry and ducks down and yep. I I go to say something. You just and then I, go to work. And then I take out the swords and light them with um, a mm -hmm. word um, which she, oh crap, she would know what I was gonna say, she probably hears she it. She would know, she would hear it and she would know what it means. Um, What's her name in a different language? That would be Aww. hilarious. Hushi Mama! <laughs> I would actually love it if it was Shalosha. <laughs> that would no, be really funny. No. Uh, I genuinely don't remember what she's going to use. She's like, what? Well, look it up what? after your turn. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's really um, and uh, attacking the dragon. Go for it. I will make things slightly easier for you. It's a gold dragon. It is immune to fire. Sorry. Great. Which you would have known because when we identified the arm, which said, would I have known it? Yeah. <laughs> I think that it's a yes. I'm gonna say no because I think okay. it still would have been worth your time to try it. Okay. Okay. Fine. For one attack on the first turn. Because if I hadn't done that, I would have given myself. I would have done funny. But that's fine. I can do that next round, which was my original plan. All right. Um, first attack is a twenty-one hit. 21 just barely oh. hits. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. All right. I guess I'm not rolling fire on this. Yeah, that's why I was trying to make it easier on you to not have to roll as much. Um, that is 12 slashing. Very right? nice. On 12 slashing knife. on the first one. Second attack. That is, it's not counting. Wow. Oh, wow. 29 hit. Nice. nice. Does it? 
You want a 20 cushion? Here, I got you. <laughs> oh, like four of us said at the same time. Up. 20 cushions for you. Um, That is a three plus six, nine slashing on it. Nine? You want another next one? one? Nope, Go that was you. yours now. Too slippery. Uh, that is 19. 19 does, does not hit. hit. Um, Trying to figure out if I should move back or because it oh, moves back to the house. Oh, you're attacking it? Oh, damn. What did you think you were doing all this know. time? Cut him off. <laughs> wow. Um, I was drinking the least out of all that one. Day. He has. He really has. You know, Justin's had the, oh, well, the Justin, least out of yeah. all of us. <laughs> Like, because like a good DM, he it's does true. not drink. I'm going to be real. When you got out your notebook, I zoned out because I assumed we were going to be here for a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I'm not you. No, but that's my turn. I'm staying there. That's the end of it. I'm okay. staying there. I'm petrified. I, I don't know whether, like, if I stay there, it'll stay back and fight me. Gosh, this is some or, like attack on Titan shit. Or she's like flying back there with her swords and just attacking and flying along with it. Yep. Oh my gosh. So, uh, oh, yeah, is that the end of your turn, Mathara? Yes, it's the end of my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, yep, legend. It legendary. takes a legendary action yeah. to hit you with its tail. Cool. Uh, it rolls that a twenty silly. to hit. I'll use my reaction to make it nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Using your defensive duelist, defensive duelist. Uh, whipping up the swords in defense instead of attack for the last uh, moment, uh, you're able to parry this tail strike as it whips its tail forwards towards you. Just oh, like jumping out of carriage, oh, doing all this heroic stuff, right? Awesome. This is the coolest shit. Bryn, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're up next. Well, I'm sorry. First, I was not prepared. <laughs> How well, dare no, I, that's fine. How very clear like of you. Um I'm go I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Oh no, I already concentration now. Shit. Flying the thing made me feel like I didn't need to prepare a turn. <laughs> but I didn't need to evade the last one. Couldn't she use her action to double move? Uh, no, the palanquin cannot double move. Like, it, it flies at a steady speed. Um, who's at Jackson? Roll it again. What, because I saw it? <laughs> I don't know what its number is. I know. I mean, I do, but I don't. Well, humorously, it has two different breaths anyway. <laughs> This, oh, isn't, what? this isn't quite this isn't quite a standard uh, dragon either. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I told you it. that most things in this adventure path are not the mm -hmm. same as normal monster manual. I'm gonna do the evade again. Okay. With my action. Okay. With my. So with I my, will. Huh? I am gonna make Rev then roll the save because he is not actually on it. Oh, he's not hanging Do on it. it. I would make him make a dexterity save to avoid getting bonked. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I okay. Bonk save. I love uh, that. Does that make sense? Save for bonk. Yeah. I think so. Well, it's actually, it's partly to not be bogged, and also she's evading, so she's yeah. swerving, and Rev needs to try to stay underneath I'm with it. it. I think yeah, it's I, I, no, yeah, I need to remain hidden, so. Yeah. All right. So, so I would say oh, make a dexterity saving throw, Rev. Just a dex save, right? Yep. 27. And then use same DC, 15. Wow! Very nice. So Rev, uh, on the same wavelength with Brynn, even though she starts evading oh. wildly, he's like, I'm gonna, I, I understand. And he just mimics the pattern perfectly underneath it, trying to stay hidden. Oh, yeah. He knows Brynn with so well. With my move, do I, can I make it, it goes to steady speed, but then I slow down, so can I speed it? back up to its steady Yes, move. you can go back to the same speed, yes. Okay, back to the same speed. And then my bonus action, I'm going to give Rev. Uh, oh, yes, Rev's fine, as long as you don't have to have line of sight for it. If it's a creature you can see. <laughs> no, it's an aura. Cause one creature in the aura to regain, yeah. Okay, and the aura is at least 15 feet? It's 30. Yeah, cool. 
So you get nine hit points. Right. Nine hit points. Thank you. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, it makes another tail attack as a legendary action against Matharia. Cool. I dropped the dice on the ground. <laughs> this doesn't count. I'm not taking it. I don't even right. know what it I was. I didn't count it when I dropped off the table earlier, so... Uh, it rolls a 30 to hit. Do you uh-huh. want that one? Are you waiting for an answer? Uh, it's kind of for funsies, yeah. Uh, it rolls a 14 bludgeoning damage 14. as the tail thunks into you. 14? <laughs> um, I use my reaction to cutting words that. Okay. Not 140. Uh, roll a d8. Not the attack, just the, the damage. damage yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna hit. Yeah. I mean, it's only 14 damage, so it's only 8. Lowered it by 4. Okay, 10. 10 damage instead. And then it is its turn. Uh, I'm going to roll it now with the actual correct die. I rolled. Okay. On its turn, um, Rev, you don't think that it sees you. I'll say that first of all. Um, you actually rolled, I'm not even going to say it. Um, on its turn though, um, its jaws begin to spark. It begins to breathe in. Uh, and in a brief moment, the fire is stoked within its mouth and it shoots flames across the entire top of the palanquin. You do all have resistance who are touching the palanquin and Rev, you will have a... Um, Actually, I'm going to say... He's touching the pelican. Pelican because he's... No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to say you have um, three quarters cover from this because it's mostly from behind still. It's not really from above. Um, So I'm going to give you three quarters cover, uh, which will be a plus five to your dexterity saving throw should you need it here. Um, But everyone, I would like a dexterity save for you from the fire. So with this, we can... Since I did the evasive, we have the benefit of the dodge action. I don't think that does anything. Does it do saves. anything for saves? You know what? I'm going to say it does. I don't even care. For this, I'm going to say you have advantage on the saving throw. Dexterity, you said? Yep. Rev, you don't have advantage, but you do have the plus five. <laughs> oh, Rev! Rev, don't say that! I don't want to look back. Ooh, I tied him. Oh, jeez, this is good. Okay, I don't know All right, why well. I Zero, Luckily, I have evasion anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we all have resistance. Oh. So it's plus five. I rolled a one and then a two. I rolled an that eight sucks. twice. I, I, rolled an, I rolled a five and a one. Fifteen. Nine. We I'll all failed. Evasion. Yeah, so actually, yes. Literally, all five of you fail the saving throw. What else, Lotia, did you fail? I hold up Darius like a human shield. We can have. Fuck that guy. Don't you dare. Don't you uh, dare. Actually, I should roll for that. Why don't. Um, Rob, could you roll a saving throw for Darius? Sure. He has a plus two. I don't think you should have any roll. Okay. You want to die? Okay. Do you want to die? Uh, and for Shalosha, oh, she has advantage. Oh, but she has a, yeah, she literally can't succeed. Okay. Um, <laughs> she succeeds, she can't succeed. She literally can't succeed. Uh, so oh, with with resistance for everybody, uh, it's 41 points of fire damage after the resistance. 40 what? Sorry. In the yep, 41. For evasion. those with evasion, it would be 21 points of damage. Well, because you would have I that again. So are you telling me that it's 82? 82. 82 points of fire damage. Wait, we have resistance from what? The, the from slag. The slag. Ow. <laughs> it's really bad. Well, I'm luckily, luckily we got in the freaking palaquin and didn't decide to fight this thing yeah. in this tight And I'm quarters. right there it's and I'm right there in its face. <laughs> yeah, it went straight through you with the breath. Yeah. Uh, this fly, uh, continues to fly back. Uh, and it's, it's all... going to continue to leverage its relative mobility here. Um, with Arya, after singeing and toasting, or while singeing and toasting, you were going to say, because that makes it more fun. Uh, it continues to fly kind of around to the side here. 
Uh, you can make an opportunity attack if you'd like to, as I it does... I don't think I can, because it's my reaction you during your reaction, turn. You're correct. During its legendary um, action. During my turn. Yeah, at the right? end of my turn, I use my reaction. After your turn. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Uh, so it flies around as it's, like, breathing this fire all around the palanquin. And it just, like, sweeps across the entire top of it. It's like, it doesn't matter if you run. No. Nah. That is its turn. Uh, Jack, it is you next. Uh, you have done, in case you're curious, I can actually tell you. I punched a lot. <laughs> you've done 82 points of damage so far. D and D beyond. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Um. All right, that hurt real bad. So I'm gonna say oh, or a vitality's concentration. Can you make a concentration check for me? But it's not. <laughs> uh, Sydney's yeah. hand is it only moves sixty feet, so it's out. Right. I moved it back to where it is right now. If you wanted, I moved it back twenty feet. But uh, if you wanted it to stay. I don't think Bigby's hand can double move. It's I don't. Con, that it's doesn't a count. Save, right? yeah. yeah. So okay. I'm just gonna say it's it's too far back. There's nothing we can do. So okay. I, I won't roll a con save, but it goes away. Twenty. Okay. <gasps> oh, I needed twenty. It did forty-two, so you need a twenty-one. It did forty-one. Oh, you're right, forty-one. So you do you need a? It's half. Do you round up or down? I got twenty. I always round down. <laughs> I got 20. Just give it to oh me. my gosh. I'm pretty sure you always round down. I don't have my channel divinity. Give it to me, Justin. <laughs> you always round down unless being told otherwise. 20 succeeds. Oh my God. Yay. Good job not destroying your hand on a high five. I unlike, thought about unlike it. Early, uh, last night. Whatever. But she's been drinking <laughs> hard tonight, so she was going to straight up break my phone. <laughs> uh, so Jack, what you got? You got another one, huh? I did. Despite your advice. Rude. So when she's hungover tomorrow, you guys can deal with it. Oh, that's going to be true anyway. Um, At least for the first half of the day. I'm going to <laughs> we leave? in just an epic amount of pain. <laughs> I'm going to pull Parallax back and say, well, let's see how this goes. And I'll thrust it forward and a bolt of lightning flies out of it towards the dragon. You realize, nice. like, every turn, you, you realize every okay. turn you've had, you've used the word thrust. Yeah, you're oh, did I? I, I, stop every time time you I shove it forward. Parallax is doing a lot of thrusting today. Boy. He's doing a lot <laughs> of thrusting tonight. <laughs> okay, I'll change it. I slash downwards, and it's like a, a swoosh okay. of lightning. So it's a like it. dexterity it's the only movie he knows. from him. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's a uh, 28. Boy. Ooh. Half damage. S silvery bars. Okay. I don't think it's going to matter. Let's try anyway. Ooh, it does matter. 11. <laughs> okay, Justin. So you lightning. get to roll damage twice. Any die you want to, you can roll a second time. Just one die? No. Uh, okay. Up to your spellcasting modifier. Holy shit. That's all. So basically all, if you uh, wanted to. Maybe. I don't know how many damage it's dies. It's 8d6, so my spellcasting modifier is 8. So I can roll, and then if I uh, do your, I can re Your spellcasting modifier is probably 4, because it doesn't include the proficiency part of it. Oh, then yeah, it's, uh, it's 4. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> yes, so anyone, you can you can re-roll the damage of up Ooh. to 4 at this I time. I roll all of these. You want my thing? <laughs> no. All right, okay, all right, all right. Well, right. oh, you can roll, so, re-roll four of them. Ten. Re-roll that one. Oh, that's 40. I just kind of want to stand up. Wait, my uh, computer is going to make it more difficult. I like standing good. up you don't at have the table. It feels good. No, that's how good. I, I stood right there during our <laughs> shot. So I ran to that. So that's 10, 20, <laughs> 9, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 36. 36 points of light. thunder damage. Light. Or light damage, I'm sorry. You're right. The bolt. Uh, you can actually, as you cast the spell, as you thrust it forward, uh, as you slash it through the air, um, you can hear in the back of your mind uh, this growl, basically. This roar of power from the back of your mind as Parallax 
as this creature that you've named Parallax, at least. Uh, yeah, uh, growls in anger at the creature that you're fighting. And the lightning shoots out with more aggression than you were actually even expecting. It almost, it's like the... It pulls the sword back, kind of. Yeah, sure. I was going to use the Return of the Jedi, like, power <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> unlimited power. <laughs> uh, and uh, the, the bolt goes streaking into the creature, and it, it is greatly affected by it. And you actually like look back at the sort of like I look at Parallax and there's like smoke coming off the yeah. I'm like dang did anyone <laughs> see that? That was awesome. Uh I'm gonna use my bonus action and I'm gonna give Matharia a bardic inspiration. Okay. Uh, as I pull the sword back, I see, so like the dragon kind of goes like to our right, so I shoot out the bolt there, and as I do, I imagine I see her flying behind him, and I'm like, you look awesome! This is so cool, even though I'm almost dead! This hurts so bad, but it's gonna be so cool! <laughs> so I'll give you a uh, part of inspiration. Cool. All right. All right. <laughs> At the end of your turn, the tail swipes towards you, Jack. What? Oh. Can you imagine how stupid this looks with it flying and it swaying its tail? Yeah, I know. It looks awesome. Like it. Oh, so it it's tail. it's like so. Don't imagine that it's like static, right? It's a dynamic and it, like, creature. It flies past them. And so it like yeah, like collapses its wings and or something. It's yeah, smacks once or more appropriately. Yeah, I like yeah. <laughs> I like what Jack was saying actually, where it's like sideswiping the. The palanquin is just smashing with the back of its tail. Yeah, before so. saying that, all I imagine is it flying forward and its tail coming up under. And like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I rolled a, what is that, 25 to hit. Yeah, yeah, but I figured as much, but I just want to make sure that you don't have anything to do. 18 points of bludgeoning damage as the tail I'm smashes. Still standing, but not very well. <laughs> That's, 18, my, you that's said? a great song. I did say 18. Yes. Woo! Winry. Jack's looking bad. You up next. Oh. I rolled a D8 before. And I was supposed to roll a D10. Uh, it's not good. Huh? I wish I had my child with him. Good over there, man? <laughs> Me? I was switching my calf. Sorry. Stay right here oh, and okay. use a key point to increase my reach. Not. Okay. Just yeah. about it. Does that key point Stupid last for the turn um, or the attack? No, I think it's attack. Really? It's not in here, though. That's kind of shitty. Um, what? Maybe it is in there. I can find out later, though. And then I'm going to punch him from right here. Okay. Did you ever figure out what the uh, the word was? What word? Yeah. Um, I I know the word, but I don't remember what the name of it was, okay. which is that home. Um, That's fine. It was 29. Um, Theoria. Oh, I feel like you might have sent this to me at one point in time. 29 does hit. I probably have, but maybe I messaged you. Let me search. See if I can message the Eight. Um, bludgeoning damage. And... Nine cold damage. 17 damage from the first strike. Very nice. Damn. And again. That's half what I do with my lightning point. Oh, no. 15 to hit. 15 does not hit with the second strike. And we'll use Slurry of Blows. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 16 to hit. 16 does not hit. We'll. Mm. Oh no. 16 does not hit again. Uh -huh. yeah. Should I give a new bar of inspiration? Yeah. Should I just start a fight against the Scaly Boys? How does your reach thing work? Is it like you're punching the air and the the air is moving um, fast and punches um, hand? The living weapon moves from my wrist, from my hand, outwards. It's like a vine whip. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, like a vine whip or like, uh, I guess that's great, like a whip. Or, yeah, or like a... No, whip, whip is good, although it, it has to be more like solid than a whip. It's more like because it goes from your. It's like probably like a like a beam, right? 
Yeah, sort of. I could, I could see that. Like, she punches forward and the, the thing just, like, extends outwards and smacks it, but it's like a chain, almost, that shoots out. Really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I love that thing. And so the, the, the additional strikes are, like, her manipulating the chained, like, extended like, weapon. God of War. It it's around. like the, uh, him swinging his weapon, so, like, it goes out, like, oh, yeah, yeah, like the yeah. bludgeon thing on the end of it. She's, like, smacking it like that. Well, now I'm way into the this uh, living weapon. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's the coolest shit ever. Anything else on your turn, Henry? Mm. Crimbus, maybe. Nope. Okay. Keegan, though. <laughs> oh, that four or five? Is that five? I think that's Nuts five. Three. <laughs> what? Not the five, right? Oh, honey. Rev, do you up next? Well, you got advantage. You're heading. Uh, so uh, do I have a... I have advantage, and what does True Strike do? Advantage. That's so I will say, technically, you would not have been hidden from aggression. But you were given advantage anyway by Shalosha. Wait, what does that mean, hidden from aggression? Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's still at advantage. I'm just saying that you actually did not succeed in your hide attempt. Oh. Very interesting. Okay, well then I'm gonna um, zip out here and strike. I'm also going to use a superiority dice. I'm gonna try and aim for his wing to try and slow him down. I'm using disarming strike. Nice. Is this? I mean, does it? I, I, I mean, it's up to your discretion and what this does because um, so it's not. T- I feel like there's a battle master ability uh, that specifically is like strike. hamstring. Uh, so I would say disarming does not disarm or diswing the dragon. Yeah, I mean, it's, does make it's sense? A, it does make sense. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's other like ones to knock prone and stuff like that. So yeah, all right, I think there, there's actually one that does slow somewhere or something similar to that. Maybe it's just prone though. You might be right. All right. Well, let me make my, let me make this. Just yeah. What? Oh, oh, buddy. I just rolled a natural 20, guys. <gasps> yes! Hell yeah. So, all right. Let's go. Oh, it's uh, so the hamstring feet is land speed, not flying. Oh. Okay. So, I had double the dice. So, it's 24 damage. Uh, that makes so it 40. The... What? No. Oh, oh, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. So it's 48 minus six, correct? So 42 damage. Yep. 42 oh, points of damage. That's a lot. Nice. Well done. Uh, As the rapier strikes through into it for the first time, you see blood slash through the air afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and in that case, I'm gonna. Sort of so scoot straight. back oh. here. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to fly along the bottom again. And let me see, I started out here. So you like zipped out from underneath the. Yeah, the like I, I rolled, I kind of rolled and then kicked off the oh. palaquin towards him. That's so Stabbed cool. him, and now I'm kicking off the dragon back to the palaquin. Uh, and I'm gonna like sling. I'm gonna sling around the front of it and hide in the front here. Uh, so bonus action. Uh, hide. Let's see if it works this time. Probably won't, but we'll you know give it a try. Rolled a twenty-seven last time. Rolled a twenty-four. All right. Last time. I rolled a one. <laughs> That's your second and, one. Oh, uh, and this time it's a twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Like and that's way, also but... 27. So I didn't. So I'm kind of. I'm kind of. So as I was coming around the front of it, though, like I misjudged how um, fast it was, and I kind of like got hit by it and like rolled, like kind of did like a barrel roll along the the front of it. Because I rolled that one. I rolled that one. So half link's luck. But right. I still managed to like be stealthy about it. I guess I don't know. Yeah, and seeming to like blend in with the front of the sleigh now. Yeah, for any for a norm for normal people. I mean, I guess this freaking dragon. Normal people. Normies. Some no- normal. 
No, this dra oh, this dragon yeah. can see me, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, uh, the next thing that happens then uh, is at the end it of does. your turn, oh. no, uh, it will make an additional tail attack. It's going to continue to assault Jack because it can, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, don't bad. like it. Uh, well, kind of bad. 21. No way. Shield? Something? Silvery barbs? Something? Oh, you already silvery barbed. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're right on my so turn. You, you no, I didn't. no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. You did. No, you it didn't. Was two, it no, no, there was two times I was going to do it. I didn't do it the first time, but I did do it this time. Right. So I don't have a reaction, so nothing. Yeah, and that's why the lightning bolt landed at full damage. Right. Yep. Totally worth it. 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Down! Oh, Jack no. collapses. Oh, is he like f Nope, he's, he's on the side. Yeah. Oh. In it, he just collapses on the siege to turn. the ground. The tail smacks me like it spins counterclockwise, and the tail smacks me and throws me against the seat. I'm unconscious on the ground, or on the seat. I'm laying flat out on the seat, though, it like I'm taking so a nap. so much damage. Oh! <laughs> We're fighting a dragon, guys. Okay. On the next turn is Shalosha's, and having seen Mitharia diving out with her swords, oh. Shalosha reaches out. She's got a shield in one hand. She pulls out her sword in the other. This dumb bitch gonna die. This long, this uh, this beautiful looking long sword says, "You're right." And then goes charging out oh. with it out. I would like Mitharia. Becca, could you roll me three attacks, please? Ooh, oh. Oh, what should I have? Why can I have advantage? I, I will definitely use. I will Whatever spare. one you want. They are and all. all of them. <laughs> they are all plus tens, please. Of course she is, because mine's. Oh, really? That's, that's cute. <gasps> oh, <laughs> <that's so funny>. <laughs> <laughs> you can maybe keep that one. <laughs> no, I, like I can't keep your dice, man. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. It's a D8. That one's been rolling like shit for me all night. You get it. It's a natural. Twin. So two D8 no. plus six for this. Two D8. Oh, well, two because D8. because you crit. Oh, or okay. double. Okay. It, well, fine. twelve plus what? Eight. You plus said? six. Plus six. So eighteen. Eighteen, 18 on the first strike. Very nice. nice. Roll me two more attacks. Keep it going. That's hot. Oh. It's not. No, nope, that's a fourteen. <laughs> Second one's a miss. Third okay. one. Oh, that's only 15. 15 <laughs> total. First of all, Luke. Yeah. Okay. So she does land one, and as she does oh, so, honey. she's, well, maybe she's as surprised as you were. Uh, she <laughs> landed it just perfectly because oh slices gosh, in perfectly. She's like, and then the second two just scrape across the scales, not able to get the right purchase, not able to find its way through and into the flesh beyond. <laughs> Uh, and she should have thrusted more. So. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly needed more thrust. Uh, that is her turn. She is going to stay there. And Vitharia, actually, I'll move her with one the, up. With the tail hits me, um, I have a go. No. At the end of her turn, the dragon is going to make a tail attack. This time it's going to try to hit Brynn. Oh, fuck. No, I'm not fine. Uh, that's a 33 to hit. Please, do I can block that do with not. my shield. Please do. It deals 19 points of bludgeoning right. damage. Uh, please make a concentration check for me. It's only a 10, oh, but it is still a 10. It's only on the aura. Yeah, yeah. Nope, it's plus three. That was so dramatic. 18. Very nice. And it is Mitharia's turn? Yes. Can you tell us what aura vitality does? It's 2d6, so I have to get a bonus action. It's uh, one that I usually roll. All ten together. Moving out in combat. I see. There's an expect sleep. Fighting spirit. Um, myself. Oh, nice. Ten. <laughs> no. I only did good so ones. You do ten have, ten so temporary. So you ten do temporary. have a plus one to all of these rolls because Rev did strike it last yes. time. Yes. Thank you, DM. Just as a reminder. Yeah, yeah, she is more brain. Yeah, she is the emerald. Anyways, um. Also, inspiration for. 
I do, yes. And an 18 doesn't fit, so I am going to. Wait, it was a D10, right? But well, it's plus one, so it's a 19. But it's that's not a hit. It's a 21. It's a D10. That hits. Um, yes. Let's see. Uh, that is uh, 19 plus 9, so 27. 18 plus 9 is 28. But 28 yes, that does hit. Nerds. Thank you. All right. Um, where am I? There, there. Look at you, pretty long hair. But I, I have advantage, so I'm not going to use the bonus. <laughs> hang on, I have, I have advantage. <laughs> oh, from your fighting spirit. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. So yep. hang on a sec. You might use that. <laughs> I might still use it. I'm still, still using, using it. it. All right. <laughs> Five. Uh, that is ten slashing damage on the first hit. Nice. That is a 26 to hit. That's it. Ooh, nice. That is uh, 12 slashing damage. Well, te- Is it plus 10? Oh, not for damage. Not for no, damage. No, no, plus, plus 10. Well, technically plus 11 because of, uh, because of red. To hit, yeah. Yeah. You're starting to see blood flying with each strike. Third attack. Don't, don't. Did I? Flying blood. Flying blood. <laughs> with good. us. The blood's flying with us. Ooh, 28 to hit. Very oh, nice. Damn. It's again. Uh, that is plus 6, so 11 slashing. Mm-hmm. Action search. Yeah! Do now's it. the time. Do it to it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, 26 to hit. Does Rolling hit. fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, 10 slashing damage. Very nice. Come on. Uh, only 18 to hit. Dang it. 18 does hit. not hit. One more. Third and last. Uh, hold on. Your advantage for that one. Oh, it is. So, um, you have so, not been, so then 27 to hit then. Yeah, you've not been crit cool. fishing at all so far. No, um, that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're hiding me from it. So that I'm, one does hit. I still have one more after this. Yep. But go ahead and roll damage. Um, nice. Another 11. Uh, sorry, 10 slashing. Oop, okay. And I'll crit fish for this yeah. one. Um, she did it! <laughs> You're welcome. Woo! <laughs> Funny. Okay. Um. Okay, so um, another 18. Working in tandem, <gasps> not just with Rev, but actually rolling it all the way back to childhood <laughs> with you and Shalosha with training dummies in the yard with guards watching over your shoulders, the two of you rolling around, smacking it with wooden sticks, <laughs> working just in concert together. Shalosha gathering the attention from the front, Matharia striking from behind and dealing the damage. You carve into this dragon. I'm not gonna say the words it's okay. yet, it's okay. but you I do a ton of damage. That was so much damage. Oh and each strike is carving sections. You're seeing oh, you're pieces of the dragon <laughs> scales just flying backwards through the air, blood wow. flying as you do so. Six attacks. That was like Mitharia's oh. most effective turn, and then I Shalosha couldn't even do the fire was, damage. I and, couldn't even do the two d six fire damage. <laughs> 20. And Shalosha was there the whole time. Yeah, take that, take that crap. Yeah, what, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did none of the work except for the first roll. All you, girl. Grin, so, it's your turn. Can I 4E and do two bonus actions? I am fine with it. Okay. He's low as well. So I'm Sound first grade. going to do a... I'm going to do a mass healing word. Okay. Oh, Ooh, nice. Ooh. That's that. Oh, Give me back up so I can get killed again by this dragon on its turn. Oh, I can do that at a lower level. <laughs> Why would you want to? Because it's not as good to do it at a higher level. Okay. It's not? It doesn't scale particularly well. It doesn't well. scale well. You only get oh. additional from the margin. But that's more. It's it is an more. average of two. And a half. <laughs> we can round up on the two and a half, Justin. Well, That's technically, fair. you're going from a two and a half to a five average, so I That's feel it. like the two and a half is. Okay, then I'll do it at third level. So everybody gets plus three. Yeah, but yeah. Well, that's 
Yes, Pete. The very happy noise for alcohol is hitting. Nice. Oh, yeah. So everyone gets nine. And then oh, wow. Pete gets three. Oh, so Pete gets three. That's healing, so I can do. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. roll it. Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> I feel like that happens every time. Yeah, it, yeah, it's I probably know. confirmation bias, but. Yeah. Um, Seven total? Yeah. Okay. So you, you got 16 total. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 And that's all I got. I'm not dead now. It's good stuff. It's good well, stuff. We'll find out here in a moment. Roll bad. The one. Hey. hey! On its turn, aggression will look towards the creature that just slapped it around. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, and it's going to use a uh, full multi attack here. And so the Bring first it. thing that happens is it roars out. And anyone that does not have a defense against frightened currently <gasps> needs to make a um, wisdom saving I throw. Wish we all wait. Wait. Took the good wait, berry. wait. We did. Good. You took your good bear one, right? No, but I have something else. Well, the rest of us did, I think. I'm pretty I'm, sure you I'm also, it. I'm also stout and hardy. Uh, He's a stout and hardy lad. So, <laughs> He's a yeah, stout and hardy lad. So, yeah, a wisdom saving throw, please, against frightened effect, please, from everyone. However many bonuses and ad advantages you get for yeah. that. Um, inventory. I want to see what it says. Good game. Why don't you hit uh, one resume? So a wisdom or charisma check or saving throw. So it's a wisdom saving throw, right? So a yeah. d4. Yeah, a d4 is good. It's 11. Oh, it's so high. Oh, gosh. Woo! Oh, I can use an action to end an effect. Never mind. On your turn, yes. Yeah. Y'all, I rolled a 1 on my 20 and a 1 on my 4. Oh, it's Sorry. slightly worse than me. So I got an 11. Um. Let me see. So um, what is it? It's a, it's a wisdom Big save. fail. Yeah. Wisdom um, saving throw? Yes. Um, 14. Fail. 15? Fail. Rev? Uh, 19. Fail. All of you fail. Uh, yeah. Everyone is correct. Uh, I'll roll for her. Uh, okay. Are you kidding me? No. DC's wisdom, probably like 20 or 21. Uh, Shalosha, right. wisdom save. Oh, <laughs> what are you sending? What who else can you sending with lyrics? Nope. Uh, a lot of people, Unless first of all. Unless she has a Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll find the DM. Probably, yeah. Like, also fails. Everyone is frightened currently of this creature. Oh, I want my journal to be so bad! Uh, the next thing that happens then is it makes two claw attacks and a bite attack all against Mitharia. As if uh, right. full rounds yeah. against you. You feather fall. Uh, so bite claws, just so you know. Yep. Uh, the claws, we have 20 to hit. My reaction to use defensive gear list. Okay. Does that last for the turn or just for that attack? It's for that attack. Okay. So that I hit, wish it was for the turn. Stops you. the claw. Uh, we have a 19 to hit. That is, yeah. Okay, and we have a 29 to hit. Definitely hits. <laughs> uh, so the bite hits and one claw hits. And so the bite will deal 18 points of piercing. Okay. And the claw will deal 12 points of, of slashing. Okay. Yep. Cool. And that is its turn this time around. As it uh, looking, you try, or you see it's trying to summon more flames into its mouth, trying to prepare. Uh, Jack, you up next. So I stole my wand and with one hand free, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Lightning Bolt at fourth level. Ooh. So let's see what happens before I say anything else. Okay. That is dexterity, dexterity right? Dexterity saving throw, DC 16. <laughs> I rolled a natural one. Oh! Yes. Nice. You know what I'm gonna say? Because I forgot it last time though. It does have legendary resistances. Ooh. I know, I was gonna find that out. <laughs> 
So he is going to choose to save on this. He does still take half damage, I believe. Yeah, and I can't, I assume that I can't do Silvery Barbs. You can't that. Silvery Barbs a legendary resistance. Yeah, I didn't no. think so. Because it's right. just a choose to succeed, not a roll. Well, before I talk shit, let's see what happens. <coughs> you, oh my you can gosh. again re-roll as many oh, damage you die re-roll. as you would like to up to your spellcasting modifier. Yikes, that was a shitty one. Boy, that was real bad. All ones and twos and one four. That there is we go. way better. <laughs> so what is that? Ten uh, or six, eight, twelve. Uh, 17, 27, half is the 14, so Is 15. it more than 8 because you cast it at 4th level? You're right, it's one more. Seven, 32. Uh, 32, so 16. half that is 16. 16 points of lightning damage. Uh, oh, electric. Yeah. I was going to say electric. <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, he does break <laughs> and singe him, but he is still right, I'm lying. Gonna, I'm not going to talk shit. Yeah, I'm gonna punch him to death. Um. Oh my gosh, we're all so long. That's it. I don't think so. Yeah. That's all I can do. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Bonus action to I'm going to. <laughs> it's not gonna matter if he focuses on me. I'm going down regardless. Uh, I'm gonna look at Winry. I'm gonna give her a little kiss on the cheek <laughs> and say, "You can do this." Got this thing. Give you bardic inspiration. Smack her on the butt. Get no, away. not doing that. <laughs> not yet. That would be inappropriate. At the end of your turn, it makes a tail attack against Matharia. Okay. It says, annoying gnat, kill the gnat, kill it, kill it, kill it. Uh, kill 20 to hit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, bad. Oh, that's a one. Uh, and plus eight, 15 points of <laughs> sledgehammer. <laughs> oh, shit! No way! <laughs> okay. He's okay. Okay, Wendy, bring it home. It's not looking good. Wendy is. It's covered in blood. Hey. Does it have one fucking health? Nope. I like uh, So I can kind of imagine if you guys are like flying like this, like kind of circling each other and oh, like yeah. literally like going blow. Like it's it's turning into a like a gr- like a grudge match right now. Like you both are yep. probably like bleeding and like just have a trail of blood behind you, yeah. and you're going blow for blow with this dragon. Blow it's blow. so dope. I mean, yeah. I'd add it up, but I'm pretty sure you did about 85 oh to 90 damage God. on that turn. So, Imagine uh, if I was able to use my fire damage, guys! <laughs> uh, Winry, what you got? Um, well, I could use um, Silosa Mine to get rid of Frightened, but mm. I'm instead going to hit from here. Okay. Roll them all at disadvantage. Key, but I'm going to use a key point to insect my reach. That's fine. Oh, but I'm still frightened. Yep, so you're still really frightened. Scared. So you do have disadvantage on these strikes, mm-hmm. but you do also have Jack's um, inspiration for, if you, one. for one of them. Okay. The problem is, uh, I believe, oh, I couldn't swear to it, uh, if you use your action to end the effect, you can't use your bonus action to flurry of blows yeah, because you yeah, didn't oh, take yeah, your so action to right. attack. Yeah. Okay. This is <laughs> Oh, Jack, you should make a saving throw, please. Wisdom save. Oh, c- for the oh, frightened. Right. Oh. Um. Hey. Inspiration is a no, ten. Not enough. Uh, ten. No, ten does not hit. Oh. No, inspiration is a ten. <laughs> oh yeah, that's an eight. You just rolled an eight. Yeah, that's that's an eight. Three. No, no, you rolled that's a, that's a, D8. a D8. That's a D8. You need to roll a D10. Ten. Yep. Yeah, this is your D10. <laughs> hey, that's, that's a lot that's better. <laughs> 10 plus 11. 21, yeah. 21 does hit. Yeah. Exactly. yeah! All right. You got one through. 10. Oh, wow. No. 8 damage. 8 damage. It plus, is. Plus 2 oh, D6. Cold damage. Wait. 
full. Oh! Seven cold damage. How do you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> she keeps hitting everything. She no. it up. Kill stealing like it's her job. Yes, yes. Yeah. Kiss Jack last again on the lips oh. and Ooh. run over and kick it and then run back to the palaquin. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> It's like a run, <laughs> but you like go halfway and extends out to your beach. Right? Now. It looks so much cooler in like yeah. animation. Because <laughs> that's what this is. This whole time, Kiss him and just... just driving, like throwing him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a truck driver on caffeine. Yeah. Stay alive! Stay alive! The guy's still up there! Come back for life! So as. <laughs> You strike into it one last time, the whip streaking forward from your hand, it glancing blow initially, and you're like, oh, no. But then the frost grows from that oh. spot that you hit it, and it locks up, and it cracks, and when it cracks, the wings break off, Ooh. and the body just begins to fall downwards, and as it falls, it starts to dissolve. Ooh. So that by the time that it makes it to the ground beneath you guys, it's kind of flying parallel with you, basically going down to the ground. It lands down to the ground, and only the skeleton is left on the ground as it skids and bounces to a stop as you guys continue to fly. And all the balls land on Aim and Ming. They just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> they just showed up. Wow. Oh. Awesome. So the question is, did we deception. Yeah, no. that's totally what we did. Not deception. Aggression. Aggression. Kill aggression. No. Well, aggression was technically already dead. As the battle ends, seemingly, and you guys are flying, Shalosha looks at you and looks back towards the rest of them, uh, towards everyone behind. She says, keep going. Land somewhere away. We need to talk. Will you find us? No, I'm coming with. <laughs> I need to leave them behind and talk with you. Now listen to me, I'm still driving. <laughs> She's like, is the dragon dead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. He's smoky right now. He's smoky. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a convoy. And I'm going to just... I would just Can't fly over buddy. and just. <laughs> <laughs> for you. I would just fly over and land and just plop down in the seat. Because she has two hit points. Mm, yeah. So close! <laughs> that was awesome. Amazing. Cover that was probably one of the best fights we've ever had. Yeah. That was so cool. That was flying so good. Away, do you spend the next half hour, give or take, uh, flying out of the ring, the ring of fiery death? Uh, and find a relatively safe spot, if you'd like to at least, to land. The palanquin, like I said, last, I think I might have said this before recording, the palanquin lasts for an hour. Uh, and so you have around that much time to fly. I use every inch of it. And uh, as you're continuing to fly then, once you're out of the firestorm, we'll begin to talk. But the last thing that you notice as you're flying away, looking at your shoulder, is this silhouette. And the window that you guys flew away from, there is a silhouette of a man standing there. A short man. He's like rubbing his chin as though he's thinking. Short and man. From a distance, you can make out this is deception yep. standing there, rubbing his <gasps> okay. chin, thinking before he turns and heads back into the castle. Hmm. You fly out to a safe distance and begin to speak. She. Uh, Shalosha said, I'm I'm sure you have a lot of questions. And she looks towards Mithari as she says it and then looks away. Pointedly doesn't look at Mithari <laughs> as she says it afterwards. I'm sure that I owe you many answers. What I will say in my defense before anything comes out is I don't agree with my father, but that doesn't mean that there are not good people to be found on all sides of this conflict. As such, 
General Magdus of Regessia is one such person that I trust. He is the leader of this group that's been around Castle Korstal in Sindar, and he is resisting Leska. And I'm going to say this outside of her voice. You guys know. Yeah, we know that name. Um, is that the guy who was at the you know that name. monastery? The uh, he was not there, no. no. Was he the one? I'll let you consider the name a minute. Um, Did we know the name because of our one shot? No, but okay. I was going to say, um, <laughs> you guys probably have heard through the grapevine, so to speak, yeah. uh, because of that one shot, that there is a little bit of a schism in Regessia between military and inquisitors. Yeah. So it might not come as a full surprise to you that there are military generals who are not happy with how things are being run currently. Uh, and she says to that effect, not everyone in Regessia loves Leska or what she does. You should know already that she sweeps up those who, the magic users, her own people to use. It is not just foreigners that she is grabbing. There is not full agreement with her, especially not among the higher ups in the military who thought that they should have some of the power, some of the control. Magdus here was the leader of the first- Oh, Justin. First Regessian army, I just found it. The first Regessian army who was here (laughs) with Coltung to put down the rebellion. He was here the night that Coltung fell. The night this firestorm began. He was Coltung's right hand in military. You can see why he would be a very useful person to be able to speak with unofficially, if you can catch my meanings. As such, not just you, you are not the only good people in this war. I want you to know that, but you do have my trust. I'm working with Magdus as well. And I'm working technically under my father's rules, but only so much as I have to. Now, I am sure, like I said, you have many questions and I am willing to answer what I can, but I wanted to get my point of view out there before I came under attack for them. It's your father's will that this alliance between Shahalesti and Magnus continue? My father wants to find the torch by any means possible. I'll say that. He is fighting Regessia all along both northern and western Shahalesti but he's doing it uh, not just to fend his homeland, he's doing it to find the torch. We were one such group sent to find it. That's 10, not 55, I'm assuming. He did not send me explicitly to talk to Magdus, if that's what you're talking about. He sent me here to find out what we could about the torch. She's saying that I found Magdus. To follow her father's orders, she's aligned with Magdus to find the torch. Uh, To follow my father's orders, I came here to find the torch. I made the decision to befriend Magdus. Okay, gotcha. Oh, Magnus was there when the assassins showed up? He was not... The way that he tells the story, at least, he was not in the castle, no, but he was with the army in the surrounding area. They had to flee from the firestorm as it began. Well, how convenient for you, then, that he doesn't know that the assassins were elves. Uh, She pauses. Wait, wait. They were Shahalesti or just <laughs> elves? I don't know. Don't we know that they were dark elves? They I think one to... was. One was. Just... One was a drow. I just said that to get a rise out of her, so I didn't really. 
<laughs> to see what she see how, see she how she would respond. Yeah, she definitely gave a pause, a start when you said it. Did she look a little panicked at all? Like a little concerned? Nervous? Nervous? Uh, make an insight check. Insight. You, it's a wisdom, so I think you get a... No. Yeah, it's yes. wisdom. Wisdom, D4. so you get a D4. For checks and saving throws. Less for 24 hours. All right, so D4. <laughs> so we're looking at 18 plus... Yeah, the die not working here anymore. Over there, yeah. me or yeah, yeah, camera. Oh, uh, 20, 21. I don't need I don't need my phone nearly as much all of a sudden, it turns out. Oh, Although I'm having a hard time getting this to stay. <laughs> okay. 21. Uh, 21. She seems as honest as you have ever seen her. I'll say that, like, she was a little uh, not not like it was concerned coy and deceptive when you saw her in sequin a bit. Um, she definitely God, it can't be able to stay in a reasonable angle. She uh, seemed she genuinely seemed, she seemed genuinely surprised that it was elves of some kind that sent uh that tried to Yes. Abuse. Yeah. Hundred percent right, cool. not only genuinely like cons- well, like um surprised but concerned actually. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, I mean, I, I didn't want to say concerned because if she's concerned that we know too much. But that being said, uh, it, it seems that she's surprised in, in the positive connotation of this of the word. So, anyway, that's all I got. If if General Magnus, and this is the first time Athoria is speaking up, General Magnus wasn't there, then he also wrote to know... No. <laughs> Good try, though. Then he also Ooh. wouldn't know that the torch is not at the castle. Yeah, you, fuck yeah. you don't have it. The elves that assassin or that captured Colton took it with them. So, like six months ago. He tried. Dark. Ah, I thought you would have it. So did we. What was that tone? Sort of weird. That was to me, not to Shalosha. I know. <laughs> but yeah. That was to Shalosha. That was, that was a fair response. Yeah. Oh, that's that's did, you, did you learn anything? Do you know where it would be? No. God. They not a trace. The torch, believe, there was a, a, a. Like a mirror image? Or a, a Dane? of when they used the torch, either silhouettes, but no indication of where they would go. They, they used the torch to leave, so they could be anywhere in the world. And you know nothing. Okay. Well, we were attacked by this dragon, so we must be on the right trail. Sayana, do you recognize me? I, yes. But it Sienna? wasn't. It was. What do you mean? She died. It was. It wasn't. Years it was and years ago. Re- her bones were revived. It's another Trillith. In other words, you... recognize the name Trillith. <laughs> Trilla. I feel like I'm being fed from a higher fire hose. <laughs> Welcome to all the past few months. What's a fire? <laughs> Shut up. You need control water. <laughs> <laughs> Being fed by the spell tidal wave. <laughs> Welcome to our past few months. Do you know how they could be involved? They seem to be periphery, just pounding us from every angle, but have their hands in everything. I don't know what Trillith are. I recognize Sayana and Trilla as names of gold dragons, and she kind of looks pointedly towards the the ground. You're not near the skeletons anymore, but uh, she just kind of looks down at where they would have been. I, I... I don't know what to say. You're telling me that there's some dragons coming from Trilla? They are her children, but they're not, not dragons. Bless your eyes. 
sneeze? Sorry. That was cool, bro. Gosh. <laughs> they're not dragons, they're embodiments of something, of dreams, and nightmares. Yes. Of one desires. Yes. Madness. Unception. Platonic platonic forms. Balance. <laughs> I yeah. get it. Balance was the only good one and she's it's gone. You say they're embodiments of forms, I guess it makes sense that balance would be neutral. Mm. Yes. So you a question for you. Are you asking that we turn this palaquin around and talk to Magnus? Right now? I just said that at the start. I don't know that it's the best for us to be there anymore, though. Or at least for you. I... Well, I thought you said we could trust this guy. We go back, he's gonna kill us. No, I do not think so. He will seek answers, but that does not mean that he's going to resort to violence. But at we the same be, time, we would be wonder, putting ourselves in the hands of inquisitors potentially. More wonder just if we need to be exposing this, exposing you to any more danger. I'm not saying that Magdus is necessarily danger, but there are those among that may pose a threat, or at least could take matters into their own hands potentially same time it just is it worth the risk well that's what i'm asking you sounds like it's not so all right cool you you tell me you have no leads no information that can get you to where you need to go well next. there's this there's this loser over <laughs> here <laughs> what did you say ryan i'm sorry you got oh, what if what if, what if uh He's talking about Darius. He said we have this loser, loser over, over here. here. Oh, 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 I see. Meaning Darius, yeah. So, yeah, Darius, mostly scalded, but still <laughs> oh, alive. Yeah, Just he alive? barely alive. He has more Hanging health than on. that. He's actually, he was a high-level Inquisitor to begin with. He's smaller It's just that he has like, no yeah, armor yeah, and no weapons and no spells right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. He only got hit with 41 damage. Like, that's fair, that's he fair, had yeah. resistance also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's he is burned a bit, but he is okay. I I I don't know. I I saw many things, but I don't recall them truly. I could anything that I saw be of interest, of use, of direction. I mean, we wrote down what he we wrote down what he wrote. So could we show 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 sure. the the, the and, phrases uh, and prophecies he wrote? And, yes, sir? Yeah. What do you think about this whole mutiny against Leska by the generals of the Ragesian army? I didn't even know that Leska's in rule. No, we, we told him. Time. We told him. He, last he looked confused and overwhelmed a bit, yeah. but trying to process it. Um, I... I'm loyal to Regesia, but... I don't know what's happening right now. I trust Magdus. That's as much as I can say. So you trust a military leader over one of your old inquisitors, uh, Leska? Leska was only so much one of our own. Mm -hmm. she, she, was she, was a, she was a special case, always. Um, Lady Shalosha. What does that mean? Well, she had previously fallen out of favor for a while, and then came back into favor at one point, but there's always been friction between her and the Emperor. I guess always was friction. Not everyone is particularly fond of her, though she is potent, and she was our chapter, chapter, I don't know, 
the Inquisitorial lead. The, the Grand lead. Inquisitor. The Supreme Inquisitor, yeah. That doesn't mean that... Like, I don't know how to phrase this best. Well, what did you think Just about her? She was the leader does not mean she was popular. Fair enough. And what based on her actions since the every all this broke out, pretty safe to assume that she was not totally mentally stable. She was power hungry, and she was driven, and those together make you a very powerful leader. They don't make you many friends. Sounds like you don't like her very much. Uh, she rose quickly through the Inquisitors too quickly. Well, let's just say, yeah. But don't you get any ideas, okay? We're watching you. <laughs> Fair. I don't know what else to expect. I'll, like, kind of sw idly swing my sword kind of, like, in his direction while I'm saying we're watching you. We're watching you. Like that. Anyway, so, sorry, I interrupted you, Rob. Go ahead. That was fine. Um, Princess Shalosha, in your opinion... Does Lord Shaladel wish to stop Leska with the torch or replace her? <laughs> you ask me to speak ill of my own father. I ask for uh, your opinion. It's not too easy to do so. Honestly. It's not hard to do so. I don't think that those are necessarily separate goals. I think that stopping and removing Leska would put him in control of not just Shahalesti, but the entire area entire region. That's fair. In his mind, the torch is the power. With the torch, he can subdue anyone. She looks towards Mitharia as she says those words, the subdue anyone. Do you have the, the things written down? That he, that Darius had, I'm assuming. I mean, yeah, I'm down I mean in, like in, in, chat. in person, in character. Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 were you saying that you shared them, or were you trying yeah, to keep emotion. them to yourself? Yeah, because she was asking for. I'm asking anything. an honest question here. I am not trying to ask a pointed one. Yes. Um, well, I feel like character. it's safe to assume that I wrote them down. No, we wrote them down. The question is, did we share them with Shalosha or not? Yes. Which is like, totally fine either way. I'm just I curious what your answer to. is. I would have I would have said something and then looked to the lot of you because I would have done like brief summaries but not written down. Sure, you have the ideas. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I would have at least mentioned it. Um, I guess for lack of any other mobility. Let's show her and see what we can come up with. She might have something that we don't have. Don't really have Missing puzzle piece options. to all this. Yeah. Okay. She takes a moment to kind of scan through them. Um, some of them she just kind of shaking her head at, looking confused, not sure what's happening. Um, but then she's like, oh. This one seems familiar. Um, five rivers flow. Yes, that one sounded one familiar to me now. too. One black, black down river. to sunless seas. Um, the sounds of a land in northern Shahalesti, uh, Isengled first called. It is an area that the Drowalesti and the Terranesti used to live in between them. There was a source of some events in our history. Some of us are less proud of than others. Uh, I but, assume we can all see Mithari reacting to that. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a river there called the Black River. And there are five major rivers in the region makes me think of that. What's the place called? Ice uh, and Blood? Yeah. 
it is spelled Y C E N G L E D. That's the first word. Isengled. Yep. And first, P H U U. Of course. Oh my goodness. R S T. Not even. So you said so. first. Justin, did you say dur- dur- lusty, like or drow lusty? Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, drow lusty. Drow, er, yeah, drow lusty. And so, would that be like and drow lusty. If you wanted to kind of translate, so to speak, yes. Um, you could think of them as earth elves and dark elves, yes. As opposed to forest elves and shining elves, or light elves. I'm mixing I understand. Yeah. So actually what you're you're pulling on here is actually something that came up in the forums humorously about this campaign at one point, which is piecing together languages. Uh, and why things are named certain ways. And yes, that was one of the things that came up was why they're named um, the way, like the elf groups are named the way that they are. The Shahalesti, the Drawalesti, the Esti part basically means elf yeah. at the end. They, it spoke of flowing to sunless seas. Does that make any sense to you? Uh, well, they all flow to the ocean. East would be sunrise. I don't know. That's the best I can get for you. They all flow out of the mountains towards the sea. I mean, the rest of it, it between lives she sees shades change, warring against the shining one. Is that my father? That was what I was thinking. These could be past, present, or future. Golden it's... wings, like it... branches in winter, sheltered them. Is this Sayana? This could be past, is what I'm thinking, because I remember, I remember she protected the Tyranesti. She fought for them, and it makes sense. Golden wings and all between them. Well, this could be the, past. The other thing I will mention. Humorously, humorously for me. Um, the bright shadow also sparks for me. The bright shadow refers to a man. Um, his name is Ruark. P H Z Y. No, actually spelled the same as the book. Really? Yep. R H U. A R C. Oh, I loved it. So, so Steph remembers. Steph no, recognizes it's not it's from me. From Wheel of Time. Oh, okay. I was gonna say you have more oh. of a rec- more of a look of recognition than I did, and, and Mithari was the one who was Jennifer. supposed to yeah. say that it was familiar. To her, it's completely so. unrelated. I got it's, nothing. Okay. Brent's got nothing. Okay, okay, okay. She's oh, flying on the side. I guess more specifically than Ruark, it refers to his sword. Sword. His sword is literally, it's, if you translate it, it translate to Bright Shadow. Uh, it, I'm trying to come up with the actual Bright name Shadow because it's a really its long homeland. elven name and I have it in the future, but I don't have it right in front of me. And who is, who is Ruark? Ruark is a myth almost. Though a real man, he was a hero. So, well, I don't think hero is even the right term. He was. He got your mood right now. Oh, uh, okay. He was a man born during the. struggling as though thinking of a word. So far I've got man born. <laughs> During the... Then she makes eye contact with Matharia to genocide. That has been always an outcast. But he's legendary. A bit. 
legendary just in terms of what he stands for, so to speak. Dance he was Shallow. Well, no, he was a child of the genocide. Specifically, he is half one and half Shahalesti. Half one what? Half. Yes, it's Terranesti, you're right. Half Terranesti and half Shahalesti. I think you spelled Terranesti. Actually, T A R A N. I need to make sure I'm right about this because now I'm looking at. I know it's Terra, T A R A N E. That's the only one who ever has looked at any of these properties. You guys did all that predicting. I was like, I ain't got time for shit. And actually, I think I'm wrong. I think that he, I want to make sure, but I want to look at this in a minute. Um, I think that he is half Terranesti and half Orc, actually. Oh. Oh, oh a bridge between two okay. worlds. I want to make sure of that, but I believe that's right. And I'm going to state it now and I will correct myself uh, <laughs> next time if I need to. <laughs> um. Well, <laughs> how how the heck do we get to Shavalesti <laughs> team? Don't have a torch, so. And we don't have a way to fly other than what Brent and I can do. Wait, why do you want to go to Shavalesti? Yeah, who's saying we're going to Shavalesti? Do we have any other leads? The elves could be anywhere. They're not necessarily. They're not necessarily from Shavalesti or the Terranesti yet. But they, it it says in the per. It, it returns home. Right, well, to we're gonna have to find. Is is he's Ruark. going home? But he's a he's a myth. He's a legend. He's. But you saw him, right? We saw him. This you talked about the specters and using the torch in an elvish posh, uh, elvish man. Yes. What. That was him, do, right? Wait, wait, what's in the, we don't know that. Sure. What's in the midst of his weapons? Because we can distinguish their weapons. Oh yeah, what is Bright Shadow? It's a long weapons. black sword. There is. Did you see a long a black sword? sword? This... Not that. That was the. That was a feminine feature. It's one. The yeah, other two are feminine scimitar. features. Kind of scimitar and the whip. In not the reindeer, in a no, not the two bladed the thing. The right, it was a two handed scimitar, a big scimitar. scimitar. Yes, that's what it is. Yes, it was black. Oh, that's. That well, I mean, it all was black in your your particular. I guess I would know about this guy, right? Well, Dar- I mean, Dar- 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 is Darius answering? Is Darius? No, not really. No. Okay, no, then I know. It's right. more than she would am know I because she, yeah, picked up. Yeah, you're there. Okay. Sorry, we are just also talking something else. <laughs> We're all talking once, sorry. Yeah. It's not just you, Ryan. Okay. Did so Darius I didn't can Darius confirm so we know what Druark looks like, right? He's like uh oh, yeah, half orc, half elf. I feel like that would be pretty distinct features. You said it sounded like she was saying that he was one of the assassinates. Uh, does can Darius <laughs> confirm that? I don't know who this man is that you speak of, but I can say that there was a man who came out of the shadows and slit my my co-workers <laughs> co-workers <Conference>. throat. <laughs> uh, did did he have a Before black sword? Before the two women appeared, he did I believe I sent you a thing, a little snippet actually, yeah. where yeah, he I talked did. about it. Um, oh yes, he had a. Large black scimitar. Does that sound like his name was? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was gonna say its name is Shal Gwenyavar. The sword. Yep. I'm not right then. That's fine. I just wanted to get it out there because I thought it was a cool, long, elvish sounding name that I wanted to state. But it literally translates. There's so much. I. It literally translates, though, to Bright Shadow. That's yeah. that's its name. That makes sense. Right. So it could honestly refer to the sword or the bearer of the sword. Well, it, so sounds it sounds like... like just... Go ahead, Jack. Ice and... Sounds like we need to go to Isenglen. We need to go to Isenglen first. Nice. 
<laughs> I'm glad you got it. Well, I can only help so much here. But what I can offer is a ship. If oh, you'll nice. come with me, we need to go to the coast, but we have a ship that can bring us. And I can drop you or leave you near Sequin. Sequin. That makes sense. I don't think I can take you straight there. And in fact, I think it would be best if I did all I could to keep this from Father. Great. Please do. And the best thing I can do to keep it from Father is to go back and tell him it wasn't there. Cool. Because he'll have no reads. As long as... As long as he believes you, and as long as he doesn't suspect you're holding that information. But you'd be saying the truth, at least. The torch wasn't... It wasn't there. Um... Uh, I feel like this entire time I've not been paying attention to the conversation that's been happening. <laughs> and I've been paying attention to how Shalosha and Matharia have been reacting to each other. And it mm-hmm. seems like their relationship has been like a familiar relationship, mm-hmm. like a family relationship, or if they it certainly... seem more um, oh, I see what sexual. You're saying. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead and make an insight check, sure. I mean, this wasn't good before. I'm definitely picking up, picking up yeah. some uh, sparks. Rev, when, hey, Brian Levy is Rev. You are always picking up stuff, even when it's not fair. When this, oh yeah, when I just you, know, you and I, I were chatting about this. Week. Look, hey, you can't blame me. It's we're like the tried and true. Everyone. It's tried and true D and D thing <laughs> to just ship all of everyone's characters. Twenty three. One, two, three. I, I would say or does, no. Okay. I would say there's definitely history there. That much is clear. Um, I think that there's more um, the embarrassment that I think that you picked up that what you were thinking was attraction, so to speak, is not embarrassment in that fashion, but it's embarrassment for having lied repeatedly. She lied to Mithari many times. Mm -hmm. Whether that means there is or is not something there, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But that isn't the embarrassment that you were picking up there. And the, the connections that they are like looking at with each other is more about something that happened in their shared history and not what's okay. happening now. Um, so based on your reports, we kind of know where Lord Shaladel lands. We know where this Magnus lands. Whose side are you on? <laughs> How far can we trust you legitimately? I am on the side that wants this to end. I am on the side that wants peace among our nations. Then we're on the same side. I like to think so. So help us. I will do what I can, but I cannot just abandon Shahalesti either. First step, stop lying to Matharia. Jack. Agreed. And help us stay informed on what Shaladel is doing. Obviously, you can't uh, give us state secrets, but help us stay at least in pace with them. Well, all I can tell you right now, and what I know before I left, is they are pushing in the northern reaches of Shahalesti. Both Regesian forces coming from the north and my father making it an effort to repel them. He knows something there. I don't know what, but there's some history there. Give me if we've touched on this, but other than the power that the torch presents, is there any reason why Tyranesti elves would be more inclined to risk it all, such as dealing Coltung to get the torch? How much do I know about that? About I imagine you've opened up Tyranesti about what? About your 
He knows she fought for her country against Tyranesti, that Shaladel led them in what she believed was a pointless war against Tyranesti, and it turned out to be a genocide again. What officially was deemed as a great victory and a merging of the yeah. territory it was clearly a what, but she would have vocalized, <laughs> especially after things came up about Tyranesti over yeah. time. She would have vocalized that there were there was nothing, there was no reason for them to have lashed out, even though Lord Shaladel deemed them a threat. So what power do they have then that Shahadel is in revealing? Does it want to admit to? Uh, probably more that he would just justify it. But also, I assume Can you I also... Can I have you make an intelligence check since you asked that question? Because this is like a recall knowledge. I feel... Stephanie feels a weird clarity of mind being so drunk, but <laughs> Brynn does not have a lot of intelligence. <laughs> drunk D&D! Woo! Intelligence. Minus D and D. D and D. Come on, natural twenty. Come on. Oh. Thirteen, but minus one as well. Okay. Um, you have heard of something else that is in northern Shahalesti. Oh, the fucking. Uh, well, is that all you're gonna give? Yep. The That's one. where the monks were from. The yeah. 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 Sultan, yeah. The Sultan monks were that just had a gem that you used to power some mm. great artifact. Can I look they after were we land? They were escaping the genocide? <laughs> Maybe. So oh, can I examine the shit. gem in the sh- in The, the gem sleigh, is... After it's done, does yep. the light come back into no, it? No, it does not. It oh, was got two more. Well, no, we I think... We have one more. We took two. They... Because you guys wanted something else. I don't know. Oh, cheese. 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 Cheese
realizing Bryn has wandered off and is checking out the diamond, I'll like wander over too. Uh, what's up? Now, actually, I meant that more like a uh, what's up. What's up? Hey, she's over there just crying, silently crying with the diamond in her hand. Yeah, I mean that's that's why he's asking it, right? He's like, what's up? What's up? It's hard to do. It's hard to do concern. I mean, that's, that's so how it sounds. Sorry, guys. Yeah, concern. Yeah, I think more from like your body language. I think we use someone's soul to escape. I think they're gone. Oh yeah. Hey, you're probably right about that. Uh, well, don't they? Uh, don't they volunteer to get tapped? These souls. Sometimes. I mean, yeah, yeah through weeping raven so sometimes, but I guess I just don't know enough about it. I didn't know that it was like a one-time use and then they're gone. Just where do they where do they go? Like is it I mean, he did say some... Oh, where does anyone go? A... You know. After the end. But hey, at least uh, this poor soul helped us escape a giant dragon and a flaming castle uh, with filled with demons. So, we can at least thank whoever this person was for their service in the war. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with something, but you know, I just want you to feel better. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Red, Red laughs a little bit because it's just so poor to try, <laughs> try to make someone feel better. <laughs> it's 100% rough. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I... I was so fascinated by it, but it just... It seems like so much power to have in one person's hand and it to be gone so quickly. Well, hey, how about this? We have another one. We'll look into it and uh, maybe we can release this soul in a much more dignified manner or maybe bring them back. We'll look into it, huh? So you just keep that uh, other diamond safe and who knows? Is, is Steph saying something, or is... I, no, yeah, was, I was. I was reading my notes. She's mumbling. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, she's supposed to hear. Well, we can... I'm, we yeah, can... you see Brynn just sort of, like, holding the gem and sort of rubbing it, like, cleaning it off and just looking inquisitive at it. Almost like she's trying to still figure it out. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back to the conversation now. You're okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Peace. I, I Peace. Stay <laughs> sweet. Peace out, babe. Um, I and I do have one more question for Shalosh. <laughs> okay. Is if anyone else is, wants to go, though, feel free. Oh. No, we're just sitting there. I, I just wanted to make sure Jack was okay after he went down. You can just go over to him and hold his hand if you want. I mean, it's chill. Come on. <laughs> Gotta make it out on the sleigh here. Come yeah, well, I, didn't yeah. Answer, I didn't actually ask any questions. <laughs> He's like, okay, we can move on. Jack, I um, heard this story once that um, Tabaxi died nine times in their lives, and then they're... <laughs> They're gone, and you, you've been gone, you've gone down a lot. I'm not 100% sure how to take this, Winry. Maybe it's, I'm gonna go with concern. Like, I'm gonna maybe die? Of course I'm concerned that you're gonna die. Well, okay. Well. I, can, are you in front of 
of all of us? Yep, apparently. Yeah. But you just said tabaxi. He's not a tabaxi. Yeah. He's an Sounds like Jack's a tabaxi he's an heart. Elf, but I heard the story from someone in the True. someone that I my troop before that tabaxi die can die nine times and come back and then after that next ten time they just don't come back anymore and Jack has been down a lot. I've been counting how many times I've been down just mm -hmm. to make sure that I Are you serious? <laughs> so I want to come close to night time and Jack is getting down a lot. And I'm worried that once he hits a night time that he's not gonna come back anymore. So uh what's Jack got? Maybe <laughs> two or three more times. That's just what I'm worried about. To be fair, well, with our the down far more than <laughs> Like, by the time we exited the fire force, it was like five. <laughs> so I haven't been counting how many times you've been down with Aria. I didn't say that, but <laughs> go, go. Well, if we're running out of lives, then we should probably make the most of them. And I'll walk up and kiss her. Aww. Aww, very cute. Alice. <laughs> Hold him. Swoon. <laughs> that was good. Tell your belly to be rubbed. <laughs> oh my god! Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah. That's the dog thing, anyway. Cats? Do cats do that? Cats? You do not want to pet a cat's tummy. Only That's like if, only if they really, really trust, trust you. you. Yeah. Only if they really trust you. Yeah, they will show your guys. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. It's always a trap. Even I'm if they attack. trust you, it's a trap. <laughs> I punched him. <laughs> Uh, well, slow show. Yes, you that's right. Have more question. You haven't run into a kind of a greasy looking man, a uh, wizard, <laughs> and his attendant. He probably had feathers, looked kind of weird. What? <laughs> <laughs> You are the words of the sweet virgin man. <laughs> Are you seeing what? No, I don't. I don't have any clue what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. You have spies. You have people, resources. I need you to do me a favor. If you ever happen okay. across a wizard, he's kind of got his nose in places that they don't belong. So you will run into him eventually. Trust me. And he's got an attendant. Someone uh, probably has feathers. I don't know what's happened to him. Is that actually looks quite, him. He actually looks quite a lot like uh, uh, Rev here. Well, he used to. Apart from the feathers. She's like, just blinking, but okay. Welcome yes. to our lives. It's yeah. not. Okay. She thinks she's filled up on information and now her brain's just making stuff <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> He's blue screening. Uh, yeah, a little, a little <laughs> bit. Gotta do a hard like, reset here. Okay, a man, a wizard, with a attendant who is a bird man? That looks like Rev. Like that looks sure, kind of enough. like Rev. You'll yeah. understand when you, if, if you, you see, see him, him. It, will, it will immediately make sense. You know what, Trip? I, 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 what I will say. What the if, hell? <laughs> if I hear about something that fits this bill, I will let you know. I appreciate it. Of course. Thanks. So. You can't can... talk, we're making out. <laughs> 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 oh, no. So getting back to the point. This seems kind of weird that we would do that and then just like turn back to conversation. Like, Keep talking so what and happened? then I'm continue. Sorry. So I'm, I'm all the <laughs> Having your, your cocked towards the conversation. <laughs> You're listening the whole time. <laughs> Wait. She would. Honestly, this is wintery. She would listen the entire time. Just a minute. So oh, she no, motioned. What did you say? You said <laughs> you would take us by by ship to the coast. So we need to get to the coast. Get to the coast to get a ship. So and I have our ship there that we came here on. 
that we can sail around on, yes. I can't think of any faster way to get back. I mean, we don't have the torch, so... Am I going to... I mean, sailing all around the coast would have been the same amount of time as... Walking? walking back? No. No, it would be much faster. Even if we... Even if we take some time and sequin to... So, I mean, with your flying, you guys are, like, out here somewhere, give or take. Ah, oh, thanks. That's, that's it. Thanks. Really did it, buddy. Just moving two centimeters. Well, right. look. Yeah. Well, you're talking about <laughs> spending the next couple of days getting to the coast, and then yeah. you start. Mm-hmm. And then what? five weeks getting all the way around oh, the But We don't yeah. have another choice. Yeah, I know. The nice part about it, though, is that ships don't stop. They don't only go eight hours. Yeah. We'd be. Yeah, yeah. We can rest on the ship. Go also roll feeds on the ship. <laughs> Roll feet I mean, and I... play games when we're. I mean, okay, let's just, let's just fast travel to the ship and roll feet. <laughs> Not tonight. I oh, used to do it sequin. <clears throat> well, what I can say for um, closing it out is um, we will say that this is the end of tonight's session, and next week. Hopefully, maybe, maybe the week after. I feel like yeah. there's a week. Yeah, I feel like there's a oh, dead week here. Try. Um, vacation. Girl, I should play. totally. I should totally. Yeah. In two weeks, we will come back with the trip to the Chocolaty boat and the beginnings of the boat ride back, and we will be leveling up. Like now oh. or next. Week. You can do it right now if you'd like to. So, yeah, right yeah, yeah. before we play again. <laughs> Yeah, no, like an hour before we play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't level up. No, but at this point, I am going to officially uh, close things out for tonight and say that is the end of, as I'm getting to the right section to be able for to stop five, it, six, that is five. the end of tonight's session.